wrestling fans, welcome to East Los Lucha Presents Lucha Extreme. My name is Mike Wexler, alongside... And my name is Enoch the Enlightened. Thank you very much. I don't need you to introduce me, but go ahead, finish your spiel. Well, we have a stacked card for you. So many matches. We have, for one, a great tag team match. Oscar Felix and Gato Loco taking on Casey Ferreira, coming out of the New Japan LA Dojo. And Mono Roja, Enoch... Who do you think has the advantage, the Dojo or Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy? I, I mean, how can I choose b between either? Santino Brothers, they have a large history of making the best talent. New Japan makes great talent. I mean, it could go either way, let's be honest. Well, another match that could go either way is Barbie Boy taking on Mr. Excitement, Ryan Kidd. Now, the last time he was here at East Los Lucha, Barbie Boy had a little bit of a disadvantage with the arm. So, does that take it into account for this match? Of course it does, because Ryan Kidd is a world-traveled veteran of over 15 years. I mean, th this kid is fantastic. If there is a weakness, he will find it. And speaking about more matches, I mean, we got to talk about a match months, maybe even close to a year in the making. We have Robbie Phoenix Robbie taking Phoenix. on Diablo Azteca. I mean, with these two heated, Enoch, I mean, what do these two athletes have to do in this match in order to win? <laughs> They're, they're going to absolutely kill each other. They're, there's no rules in the street fight. Robbie Phoenix is the veteran, but I'm going to have to go with Diablo Azteca. I think he's going to pull out the upset. Well, speaking about upsets, we do have an open challenge. Chaz Ooh. Price, who made a statement last time he was at East Los Lucha, taking on anybody. Like, anybody could answer. I mean, do you know who could possibly answer? I could, you could. I you could get up and you could get in the ring and you could wrestle him yourself. But I think that whoever steps in the ring is going to be in trouble because there's always a price and I'm not sure they're willing to pay it. Well, another match we got to talk about too is Rancho Camacho, a fan Ooh. favorite here at East Los Lucha, taking on Rayo Star, a phenomenal luchador in his own right. I mean, Talk to us, Enoch. Like, what does, who do you get the advantage to? I mean, Rancho Camacho, he comes out here, he he shakes hands, he kisses babies. I, I'm not a fan of his, so I'm going to go with Rayo Star, as you said it. <laughs> what a loser. I, I, I love the R's, though. But <laughs> who regardless, rolls their eyes? But we have next a number one contenders match for the East Los Lucha Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. Yeah. We have Eli Everfly, yeah. an established name here at East Los Lucha, taking on Damian Drink, a guy with a little bit of a mean attitude. I mean, who do you give the advantage to? You know, I always go, I always go for the bad guy. That's somebody that I can believe in their message, but Eli is somebody that never stays down. He's somebody that will never ever lose, so I, I can't count him out. Well, you can't count him out, but you also can't count out in a Lucha Extreme Cruiserweight Ooh. Championship match. That's I mean, true. this is huge, folks. Absolutely. We've got Sonico, the Ooh. challenger, someone that is an established name, taking on Kodo Hero, the defending champion who has gone through hell and back in the past for that Cruiserweight Championship. Who do you give it to? Koto Ohiro, I mean, is somebody I know personally, somebody that I used to be in this corner. Right. But he has sold his soul to these fans, and I put my trust in the Lucha Ghoul. He's going to come out the winner. Well, regardless, the fans are definitely going to have a treat with this match, but ladies and gentlemen, we are going towards the main event. Woo. A truly... When it comes to Lucha Extreme, this is the definition of the match. For the heavyweight championship, Doble Cara is looking to get that championship back against Vito Fratelli, who won the championship, Enoch, at our last event at the Lucha Block Party. So, who do you give the advantage to? Out of nowhere, Vito came back, won the championship, and he's not going to stay down. He's not going to lose. He's not going to have Doble Cara or whatever you said. He is not going to pull out the upset. Vito Fratelli will be your winner and your champion well, forever. Well, regardless, fans, you cannot wait. The energy in this arena is influential, and we cannot wait to start Lucha Extreme!
Wow, Pinky bringing that fire. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, huge news. New general manager of East Los Lucha. Ladies and gentlemen, the former contest is your East Los Lucha Lucha Extreme Tag Team Match. Oh, look at this. We have a tag team match to start us off, folks, here at East Los Lucha 14 presents Lucha Extreme. And we have a very unique tag to start us off, Oscar Felix, and not only that, but Ultimo Gato Jr. Wow. Oh my God, you're such a nerd. You're so excited to see these guys. Are they your, they're your favorites? I mean, they're not necessarily my favorites per se, but these two are absolutely impressive, Enoch. I mean, let's talk about Oscar Felix just went off of a huge victory, considering that, yes, this is his rookie Ooh, year, but wow. he has been absolutely impressive, and we're seeing for the very first time Ultimate Gato Jr. Ultimate Gato Jr. Were you not allowed to have a, a cat growing up? Is this some type of repressed childhood memory coming out where you just want to adopt every cat in the world now? I'm more of a dog person, but you know. You know, I mean, semantics. It doesn't take away from these two. I mean, I guess they're in incredibly talented. They got a great future and all that stuff, you know. Well, as they approach their <sighs> opponents, they're going to have a tall task ahead of them. As we have Casey Ferreira and Manu Roja. Excuse me, Mono Roja. Can you can you not pronounce names? It, it's 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 Mono. It, 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 Luchador Mono. Thing. Mono. See, I know how to do it. Look at my skin color. I can say it. Mono. But regardless, we are approaching. Oh, the debut Dang. of Casey Ferreira coming out of the New Japan LA Dojo, and of course his partner coming out of Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy in Mono Roja. And again, we talked about it earlier in the pre-show. What? Who do you give the advantage to? Do you give the advantage to the guys that have trained over at the Santino Wrestling Academy, or do you give the advantage to the team that has that LA Dojo of New Japan? I mean, how how could anybody pick? Both schools are prestigious. Both schools put out champion level material students. I mean, I mean, you tell me, nerd, what do you think? Well, I definitely do think Piki Santino has the ringer introductions for this match. That is true. Is so red. That's what it means, right? Well, yeah. The red hand man. That, you're right. Right? See, I know Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Lucha Libre, see? Well, right now we're going to get some Lucha Libre right now, starting off Lucha Extreme, East Los Lucha 14, with this very highly anticipated tag team match. 
and this is going to be one for the ages to start us off. I'm sure you're excited. The cat's in the ring. You love cats. I told you I was a dog person. I don't believe you. You look like a cat person. But right now, look at this. Some Lucha Libre style. Oh, El Roja getting a little bit of a head wrench right here. Oh. Cutting off the circulation. I've Ooh. got the... Oh! <laughs> that knee right to the face. That was really cool. Oh, Ooh. and so the corner right there. Oh, right. no. Off the ropes to the corner. Gets him to the corner. This does not look good for Come Gato. On, Mano. Oh! oh <laughs> Straight to the face. Arm drag, beautiful. But that cat-like experience. Oh, I could. And look at this, Quesadora. Oh, oh, into an arm drag, beautiful. The match going at 110% right now. And Gato Jr., wow. look at this, wow. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. And look at this. Oh, Whoa. and a standing moonsault right there. Here's a cover. Only a two count oh, right there, come on. Steve. Come on, Mano. You got this. Oh, there we go. That's my favorite. He's going to win. Oh, one. Oh, but only a one count right there. Come Says on, Casey. And here oh. comes more action right here. Whoa, Look whoa, at this whoa. roll up. Only a two count right there. And you got to take the zone. And Enoch, you have to respect Casey Ferreira's ability right here. Being trained by those at, such as Kushida, Fred Rosser. Wow. I mean, you're seeing that experience right here. Oh! Look, I know you're the type to drop names, and I know that those have value. Oh. But what I'm seeing is all <laughs> four of these men are putting it down right now. Absolutely, and we're seeing that right now with Oscar Felix. Oscar Felix having a little bit of an edge when it comes to the East Los Lucha faithful. Again, like I had mentioned before, having that fatal four-way victory. Nope. And no, nope, no, no, yes. Okay. Oh, no. Casey floating over. Oh! oh. Well, that was pretty cool. Oh, but look oh, at Roja. Come yeah. on now. <laughs> and... Oh, oh Tornado DDT. Beautiful. Stepping off that top rope. Cover. Come on. Uh, uh, only a two count right there. Felix staying in this, and there's some, a little bit of a questionable tactics, Enoch, that uh, Casey and got, and, excuse me, Roja are taking right here. I don't think it's questionable at all. I think that they are willing to do whatever it takes to get the win. Well, I don't know if everybody here Double at East Los Lucha. hip toss, but catching. Look at this. Oh! Whoa. Hit. Cover. Oh, come on. Only a two count right there. And you're seeing the heart of Oscar Felix in this match. And right now applying the headlock is Roja, but listen to these fans, they're going right behind Oscar Felix. Of course, I mean, he's pandering to them at every chance, which is gonna be his downfall, honestly. His downfall? Because he, he just cares what these people think way oh. too much. Look at that. I mean, you gotta and, respect the power, but. He thinks that these people are going to channel some type of spirit energy into his soul. And what he needs to realize, is these people don't care about him. They don't care about him at all. Well, here comes Rojo in the corner. Ooh. Oh, no. This does not look good for Sweet Felix. And look leg. at this. Oh. Come on. And you're clapping at this? That's great. It's great tactics. Great tactics. The, what's the ref doing? Is he? Or did they get disqualified? They got to the five count. But so, so, so then it's legal, right? It, it, come on. Oh! Huge knife edge shot by Casey Ferreira. And again, Casey he's running off. Ooh. Oh! Big no. running clothesline. Might be going for one more. Oh! oh. But Oscar gets out of it. Oh! Oh. oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Flying Superman style. Oh, but look at that dodge though. He could get the tag, but does it? Come on, Casey. Oh, oh yes. Oh no. Might be going for a German. Oh, oh. into a pin. One. Oh. oh. Come on, Casey. You got this. So close, but yet so far. And again, Casey coming out of the New Japan LA Dojo. He had a great match in that triple threat at the LA Dojo Student Showcase with Cameron Gates and, and, and Watts. And it's, it's been incredible, but I mean, not doing the right thing is not working in a sense. I mean, there's only so many things you do. You, you need to keep going to the well. You need to keep trying different things in order to get the win. These, 
They're, they're, they're so new. They're, they're so raw. You know, not everything's going to follow a formula, right? So he needs to co continue to reinvent the wheel. And back and forth. Forearm shots to the face. Who's going to get down first? Come on, Casey. Oh! oh. But, oh, oh, Pele kick. Beautiful. Oh, no, but, oh, oh. it's a Geary right there. Oscar Felix getting back into this match, Enoch. Oh, attacking in Gato Jr. Gato just, wow, flying in that ring. In his rookie year. Oh, oh. cat-like reflexes once again. Oh, no, reverses his row. Oh, Going no. to the second rope. Backflip to his feet. Megan, that looks so simple. Now, oh, oh. springboard crossbody. Oh, but oh. only a two count right there. And you got to give credit, Enoch. Every single one of these competitors are in their rookie year. Yeah. And, it's, and it's very impressive what they've been doing thus far. Uh, absolutely. Oh, oh, backbreaker. And, oh, no. Picking him up. Might be going for... Oh, oh little, kissed him on the forehead. No. It's probably going for an SEO, but hands colliding right there. Oh, no. Casey in the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. It catches him. Oh. oh. Falcon oh, arrow. Falcon's arrow right there. Beautiful maneuver by Oscar Felix. And the crowd looking. Oh, oh beautiful my. roaring clothesline there. And oh no, got the junior. Oh, oh, that's right, power bomb. But doesn't go for the cover. No. Instead, oh, oh. huge frog oh. splash. This might be it. Making the cover. Come on. One, One. two. Three, oh. yes, yes! By hook or by crook, whatever it takes. Casey Ferreira, and not only that, but Mono Roja getting a huge victory to start us off at Lucha Extreme. I mean, I what? get it was impressive, but you can't not acknowledge the fact that they used some underhanded tactics in this match. I mean, what could you say? When the going gets tough, the tough get going, and they need to do whatever they need to do to get the win. They were trained and they were taught all of the fundamentals and they were able to use them to get the win. I didn't see anything cheap. Well, the Midnight Marauder, Casey Ferreira, and gotten, excuse me, Manu Roja with an impressive statement. And, and Good job, Mano. But again, all respects to Oscar Felix and Gato Jr. Impressive. And the East Los Lucha faithful riling up behind these two combatants right now. Beautiful. This is what I said, that it would be their downfall. All these people care about, uh, all of those two care about, is the adoration of these fans. If they don't get that reaction. Oh, wait, oh, what? Yes! Yes! Fans, if you remember from the last event. Yeah! Oscar Felix got the handshake of those best of East Lone Solution like Rancho Camacho, Bamboo, and not even... But why tonight? Why Finish tonight, him. Oscar? Because he's a stupid cat. Oh, no. And cats don't deserve to be a oh. perfect... Oh, my God! That the total speed that he got, the amount of power he was able to put behind that flying knee because of the, all of the times he hit the ropes. Oscar Felix, he is now a man of the people. Of the people? He just betrayed the people. He broke the hearts yeah. of the... the disgusting. Oh. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, man. That was great. What a way to end the match on a high note. On a high note, you may say, but for the rest <laughs> of us, absolutely not. And right now, Gato Jr. getting some help by referee Steve. He's going to need a lot of help to get out of the ring because that flying knee was vicious. Definitely a statement being made here tonight. He's going to need quite the cat nap, right? <laughs> Cats do not deserve, deserve a place in pro wrestling. I mean, I mean come on.
fans of East Los Lucha, we are about to get hyped here with this next match. In my opinion, a dream match here. We got two of the very best, not only from Los Angeles, but of San Diego. And right now, we're going to get excited with Mr. Excitement, Ryan Kidd. Yes, a man after my own heart, a world-traveled veteran. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? He's going up against Mike Wexler's favorite wrestler, Barbie Boy. And there's no good, there's not going to be any... His arm is still hurt. His arm is still hurt. Kid is going to dissect him. Well, I don't know what Mr. Excitement's going to do. I mean, all kudos to him, but... I'm not going to lie. I'm an Oppenheimer fan. I didn't think the movie was very good at all. Well, speaking about popular movies, we have one of the oh, best in not only Southern California, but all the West Coast, and Barbie Boy! And as you had said, Enoch, I mean, yes, there is a little bit of a disadvantage for Barbie Boy. After this last time at the Lucha Block Party, him versus Richie Coy, Richie Coy did aim at that left arm. So maybe, yes, Ryan Kidd does go after that left arm in this match, but you cannot count out Barbie Boy's spirit. Absolutely, you can't, you can't deny he comes out here and the fans are totally behind him. Which makes him a suck-up, just like you, which is why he's your favorite wrestler. I Every not, time. Publicly, he is not my all-time favorite wrestler, but he is definitely one of my favorites to see in person, whether it's here at East Coast Lucha, MPW, or wherever the case may be. You don't have to front with me, Mike. I know. I've seen the posters on your wall. When you invited me over for brunch, I saw the posters. I mean, what can I say? Well, I mean, Barbie Boy is kidnapped. <laughs> He has the agility, the ability, the strength. He has everything and more when it comes to professional wrestling. That's true. Except that, look at this. He comes out here and he plays to these fans. This well, is what I'm saying. You're out here to, for one reason, to win, right? Right. There's no room for pandering. Well, right? here comes Pinky Santino with the ring introductions. Listen to the East Los Lucha faithful. They chant Barbie because his spirit, his positivity is so influential. And he's going into this match with all the energy of the fans behind him. I mean, what can I say? These, these people love him. You know, you love him. Now you bought all of his posters. I mean, I, I give up. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, that's a unique way of a, a pre-match. What, 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 is, what is going on? He needs to be checked, well, like I mean, anybody else. He got checked already. <laughs> Did he? Why was he doing this oh, stretching, stretching thing? Stretch, stretching, you know, stretching the Barbie muscles, you know? Oh, my gosh. But regardless, the match is officially beginning, and uh, this is going to be definitely a match quite for the fans to see. And right now we're having a little bit of a... Barbie mocking kid. I'm not sure that that's a great tactic to to mock your opponent, especially when you're harboring an old injury. Well, we're going to see if Ryan Kidd establishes that. I mean, maybe he does with his offense right here, taking him to the corner. Uh, beautiful. He's got till the count of five. Oh, come on now. Pushing Barbie boy. A little bit of disrespect coming from Ryan Kidd. Mr. Excitement, I think maybe Mr. Disrespectful maybe is the right word. I don't, I don't think that's the word to use. I think he said, check and mate. What's your move, buddy? 
Well, collar and elbow tie up right here. Ryan Kidd is taken to the corner by Barbie Boy. I mean, the ref needs to the, the ref needs to get him off of him. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I mean, oh, a little kiss from Barbie Boy. I mean, that's kind of a nice gesture. He's not consenting. He didn't consent to the kiss. Yeah. Kisses need to be consensual. I think the fans agree, though. They want to see that kiss. These fans are disgusting. Non-consensual kissing is wrong. Oh, but look at this. Our Ryan Kidd going after that left arm, as we had mentioned see, before. Perfect. See, that's why he is a ring veteran. He knows that he can break that arm down. Oh, grabbing the back of his head and pulling him down. I mean, why are I, they booing? I don't, I don't understand. I mean, it's, again, not tactics I personally would consider to be great ones. But look at Barbie Boy, that athleticism. Going there, doing, and oh, what? okay. Okay. That is assault. Assault? How? That is assault. He smacked his butt. I think the proper terminal. Oh, and he just booped him. No booping. Oh, and look at that. Okay. Oh, come on, Ryan. <laughs> we had a little bit of fun. There's no room for dancing and wrestling. Come on. Everybody knows that. I mean. It's not dancing with the stars. Off the ropes. But uh -oh. Barbie catches him. Oh, oh, little roundhouse kick to the gut. That was okay. I'm not gonna lie. That was a really cool move. Oh, but look at this. Wait a minute. I'm picking him up. Oh, okay. What? Okay. Okay. I dig it. Oh, but ducks the clothesline. But oh, ho, ho, ho. to the knee and oh, little O to Delilah. Do oh. oh, huge suplex. Look, I'm not a Barbie Boy fan, but that was a fantastic combination of moves. But only a one count right there. I hate to say it. And again. Barbie Boy, an experienced veteran in his own right against Ryan Kidd. Oh! oh! Huge chop to the chest. That really hurt me, and that wasn't even me getting chopped. This crowd just absolutely going oh! bonkers. Again to the butt. What can you say, Wexler? Oh, Hold on, I think we have to... Oh! Wait a minute. Oh! Not only was that not sanitary, but that probably felt horrible to I, get that chop. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, straight to the bare chest, Ryan Kidd, unprotected. Oh, to the corner. Uh, oh, back elbow right there by Barbie. And oh, no, 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 no. Oh, huge back kick right there. And cartwheel into a forearm. <laughs> Beautiful. Whoa. Oh, what is this? I don't think this is good, Enoch. I don't think so. No, I, there's no dancing and wrestling. Well, there is twerking, though. I mean, that's oh a pretty good twerk. God. Oh, no. Not to the corner. Yeah. Oh, but Enoch gets him off. <laughs> he kicked him in the butt. It's great. Oh. Yes. Huge lariat by Mr. Excitement, Ryan yes. Kidd. Ryan Kidd, and again, as much as I disagree with some of the actions that he's done in the ring, I mean, he's a 14-year veteran. I mean, only 28 years old, and he knows what to do when it comes to the professional wrestling ring. Ryan Kidd has traveled the world. This kid is a, a sponge soaking in knowledge everywhere that he can, and he's not going to lose to Barbie Boy. Not that I'm discounting his ability. I'm just saying that Ryan Kidd is oh. in a league of his own. Well, again, this is coming from the three-time SoCal Pro Tag Team Champion, and not only that, but the two-time SoCal Pro Golden State Champion as well. I mean, he has a lot of, oh, experience again. Not only winning in the ring, but also championships. Barbie Boy more used to being in a tag team now, and now it seems to be working against him. Now, you know, may maybe he's, he's looking for that tag. Look at him, trying to tag in his partner, but this is not a tag match. But again, listen to the background, Enoch. It oh is the Los, East Los Lucha faithful that are rallying behind Barry, but oh, here comes Ryan Kidd. And oh no, this does not look good. Oh! oh. Huge forearm. Huge forearm right to the jaw. But listen to these fans again. Channing, let's go Barbie. I don't know what is wrong with this audience. Oh, but second oh. attempt at an Irish whip from the corner. Oh, and a kick to the gut right there. And just taking his time right now with Barbie Boy. <laughs> it How are you commending to, this? It doesn't need to be flashy. It just needs to be efficient. It's not illegal. It kicked him in the stomach. Oh, no. Blocked the roundhouse. But oh, look at this wow. by Barbie. Oh, oh almost the kiss. Hey. Oh, so close yet so far. 
Why are you enjoying this? You want to see him kiss him? I mean, it's a nice little, you it's know. A it's fine to non-consensually kiss somebody. I'm, oh, I don't know. yes, breaking the back. Oh, I mean, he might have hurt his own knee. Oh, no. There's a cover. Kid, be careful. Oh, only a two count right there. And again, you mentioned about that back. Does at this point in a match, do you go after the back? Do you stay on that arm? What do you need to do to take down your opponent? I think that whatever is available, you go straight towards. Every opening that Ryan Kidd sees, he's going to take. Whether it's the knee, whether it's the back, at Ooh. the end of the day, you're breaking somebody down. Oh, oh yes! It's Zagiri. What a beautiful Enziguri. When was the last time you lift your leg that high? Well, I don't know, but Ryan Kidd calling that a goal, as if it, like he counted that as a field goal again. And... Once again, it. the East Los Lucha faithful, Channy Barbie, trying to rile up their Malibu's favorite Barbie. And Ryan Kidd right now taking control. Irish Ooh. whip from corner to post to the corner. Maybe looking for that insecurity, but look at Barbie boy. Ooh. Versatile. Wow. Wow. Straight into that sunset flip. Oh no, Kidd. Oh, kicking out right before the three. Now, oh, straight into a sleeper. And, yes. And again, Cutting off the circulation of Barbie Boy. You cannot dance when you're asleep. Unless, you know, you sleepwalk and dance, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, but look at this Barbie Boy already. Down on both legs. This is it. Barbie is going to tap or fall asleep. What? Yep, there it is. That's it. No, no, no. He is not Come out on, of Come on, drop fight. it. Check the hands, ref. Come on, Charlie Wu. Oh, uh, Charlie Wu. That, oh, that's, that's, that's it. One? He has two more. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Two. That's it. Oh, no. But he has the no. hand up. No. Barbie boy fighting up. No. Where is he finding this power from? It's that Barbie spirit from the from the faithful here at East Los Lucha. No. Oh, oh. no. Split leg jawbreaker. Oh, no. Barbie boy. Kid. Getting control. Oh, back elbow to the face of Ryan Kidd, but Ryan Kidd, wait a minute. Whoa, uh oh. It's oh, okay. Straight into that Hurricane Rana. Oh, my gosh. Great maneuver. Oh, clothesline. And another one. Oh, my goodness. What a roundhouse kick. Booker T would have been proud, let's be honest. That was a fantastic kick. I hate to say it. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Barbie boy calling something here. Oh no. Uh oh no, no, oh! this is disgusting! Ew! Just, oh Steak my face to the corner. That is a lethal weapon and he should be disqualified. Disqualified? Disqualified! For what? For that booty! Oh, <laughs> ducks the clothesline and, oh, going for that sidewalk oh! slam and he gets it! Here's the cover. No kick out! Oh, thank you, God! Only a two count right there, says referee Charlie Wu. Oh man, that was an incredibly scary. Ryan Kidd kicking out at the last second. Does that move have a name? It's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, again, he has taken out so many people with that sidewalk slam. But Ryan Kidd, I mean, again, as much as I disagree with his actions, he's been still in this fight. The, the heart of a champion. You can never count out Ryan Kidd. Oh. He has done this since he was a child. Going for that dream house, but Ryan Kidd oh. gets out of it, but back elbow is Barbie Boy, ducks the clothesline. Oh! Backstabber! Beautiful! Kid making the cover. Come on! One, One. two. Oh! Only a two count again, says Charlie Wu, our referee. What 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 does Kid have to do? What does Kid have to do? You've seen more Barbie Boy matches. I mean, what what does he have to do? Does he gotta kill Barbie Boy? Uh, kill Barbie Boy? Not necessarily, I don't think, but right now I think we're seeing the strategy of Ryan Kidd going to the top rope. Oh, yes. That's it. He's going for his patented 630 splash. Oh, no. Here he goes. Oh! oh. There he is. Beautiful. Dumps Trick the clothesline. Oh, the kiss! The kiss of Barbie Boy. How could you be okay with that? That's disgusting. Oh, for the roll up. No, 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 no. Kick out. No! Oh. Barbie Boy wins it. <laughs> no! Barbie Boy with an emphatic victory here at East Los 
Lucha, Lucha Extreme. And one could even say, Barbie Boy went to the extreme with that patented kiss. I'm not gonna say that I'm happy about it, but I'm gonna say that he was able to overcome the odds. All of the beating that Kid did to him, his hurt arm is hurt back, and he was able to get the win. Damn it. Well, I mean, he's not only making East Los Lucha proud, he's not only making Southern California proud, but you have to think he is also making the Doom Barbies proud as well. You probably own a Doom Barbie, don't you? Comb its hair every day like this. Look at his hair. Come on. Bald is the, is the key. That's what you do. You, you don't have to worry all day. But Barbie Boy once again with an emphatic victory. Oh, my God. No, 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 you, you, no, you, you probably want to take a picture with them, don't you? <sighs> but regardless, we're going to send it out to new general manager of East Los Lucha, Pinky Santino. Manager Pinky Santino saying we're going to get extreme, and we are with this next match as an East LA street fight. And Enoch, get ready for more than just extreme, get ready for a heated rivalry as we approach the first competitor in Diablo Whoa. Azteca. So tell me, why, why is this a heated rivalry? So let's go back a little bit to last year. Diablo Azteca faced off against Robbie Phoenix in a singles match, which is supposed to be a down-the-middle match. Unfortunately, Diablo Azteca had to go down below and beyond and use brass knuckles, brass knuckles as I mentioned, and hit Robbie Phoenix in the face, getting that victory. He then convinced Robbie Phoenix to have a tag team match at our last event. For some weird reason, he used those tactics, those underhanded tactics once again. But Robbie Phoenix said, I had enough. I want to face you one more time, one on one. Mono e mono. And that's where we're going to get, and not only any match, in an LA street fight. Finally, we're going to get a match where both competitors are going to go through hell and beyond. And so weapons are legal this time. It they are. knuckles, anything that they want to use. Right. So it looks like it's in favor of Di Diablo. Well, Diablo, Azteca. I like Diablo. Diablo. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Diablo so is worse. Diablo, Azteca. <laughs> and wait a second. Whoa, what? Diablo Azteca is waiting. Come on, get him. Waiting on the charge here for Robbie Phoenix. And we're approaching something, but wait He's a minute. Waiting for him to come out. He's not coming out, though. Where, where's Robbie? I don't know. I mean, he's scheduled to be here, and I don't know where he is. And oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No. Diablo, look behind you. Oh! With the trash can. Robbie Phoenix. Again, as President Pinky Santino said, this is no rules, fans. This match could go anywhere, but a winner has to be decided in that ring. And wait a minute, they're going all the way towards the stairs area. I mean, fans, we're gonna try to give you our best from our perspective right here, but we can barely see them. Oh my goodness, they're well, up in the- They're fighting up, up upstairs, up top. Oh! oh. Blocking a punch and forming right in the face. 
And again, we want to give a huge thank you to our camera crew that's getting you the live action footage from up in the balcony area. Oh no. Robbie Phoenix, once again, like I had said before, he's been waiting for this moment. He's been waiting to get his hands on Diablo Azteca. Oh! Ooh. This is absolutely crazy, Enoch. Oh no. What's going on? This does not look good. Fans, if you're in the way, get out of the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. On the on the stairs right there. One punch from Robbie. Oh no. Oh no. Robbie, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no. Oh my god. Diablo Azteca getting what? taken down and look at this. This crowd just behind Robbie Phoenix. I mean, you got to give credit to Robbie Phoenix. I mean, Robbie Phoenix is a 20-year veteran, the first ever Santino Brothers heavyweight champion. So, like, when it comes to L.A., he's the guy that everybody knows and loves. That is true. I mean, I, I've known Robbie for years. He's a fantastic wrestler. I think he panders, obviously, too much to the crowd, like 90% of the roster. But, you know, I mean, you can't deny what he can do in the ring, and he's showing it in front of all these dumb fans. Dumb fans? I mean... They're going behind this great match, and oh, Diablo Azteca going towards the bar area. No! Just fighting near the bar area. Huge thank you to our bartenders. Make sure you tip them, fans, if you ever come to an East Los Lucha event. And oh, no, wait a minute. The king of pandering over here. Where, where, where are they? Oh, th They're going towards the balcony area again. Oh my gosh. This time on the left side. And listen to these fans going behind Robbie Phoenix. Oh my God. Just fighting once again in that balcony area. Oh no. Oh no. This does not look good for either man. It's very high up there in the balcony seats. Oh no! What? 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 What's going on? Can you see? I, I cannot see. I mean, again, it's shout so out to our to camera crew. It. Oh, I think I could kind of give a little bit of a view now. Oh no! They're right next to us. Oh, oh no! There we go! Oh no, my God! No! Not over here! No! Not, not over here! On me. No! Not on me! I have things to do. Oh, oh thank, thank goodness. God. Good job, Diablo. Diablo. Oh, now to behind us, fans. Again, these balcony seats here with the Don Quixote they are very high, Enoch. So, like, if you go off of there, that is about at least a 10 feet drop. Absolutely. That's pretty frightening. We're now going towards the bar area right here in the balcony seats. Hopefully. Oh, going down towards the. Towards the stairs area over there. Oh my God, these two men just fighting all over the place. Talk about an LA street fight. Again, this is coming from months of frustration. Robbie Phoenix trying to get his hands finally on Diablo Azteca. Take him to the ringside area. But again, whoever wins this match has to win it inside that ring, Enoch. Robbie Phoenix still here pandering to the crowd. That's, the, that's going to be, a, like I said it all night, it's their downfall. They care so much about what these stupid people think, and, and oh. they, they're just going to react. Oh, look they, at they this. They want blood. He just grabbed a phone. Oh, what is he going to record? Oh. oh. Talk about a first-person POV. Man. Hopefully they get some likes on TikTok. I don't know. Maybe Instagram reels? Are you a social media guy? I mean, do you ever get likes on anything you post? Let's be honest. Yes, of course, I'm on social media. Enoch the Enlightened. Oh, but look at this, grabbing a steel chair. Oh, look at him. Again, Enoch, no rules. I mean, he can use pretty much anything and everything in this match. But again, a winner has to be decided in the middle of that ring. Oh, and a huge bicycle kick by Robbie Phoenix. And Diablo Esteca. 
uh, a vet in his own right, but his tactics are so questionable. I think he's getting what he's deserving right here. Oh! oh. Kicking a chair instead of Azteca. Oh. oh! Big knee straight to the jaw of Robbie Phoenix. Oh, what's he going for right here, Enoch? Robbie Phoenix just out on his feet. He doesn't even know where he is. Oh. Oh! oh beautiful 619 under that bottom rope. And did you notice that Robbie ended up on the chair? But, oh no, fans, if you're going to be there, move! Oh! Suicide dive onto the ringside area. Into that flying forearm. I mean, what, what a chance he took there to inflict damage on his rival. And again, you talk about rivals. Again, like I mentioned before, so many months in the making. Robbie Phoenix, the only way to settle this in the ring has to be in an L.A. street fight. Weapons have to be used in order to get that victory. And again, clear cut in the ring. There has to be no tactics. I mean, there is no tactics. There is no rules in this match. So anything that these two men do is legal. But wait a minute, Enoch. Right here, right oh. in front of us. Diablo Azteca. Oh, no. Going after that trash can. Get him. Oh, no. But wait. Oh. What is he grabbing here? Oh, no. no. Not even grabbing that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, don't do it! He's Don't do it! Up oh. That, oh, thank goodness. He's picking up that break. It looks like an anvil, maybe, but no, no. No, oh my God. Robbie, don't do it! Oh. Oh, gets it. Knocking over our camera a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Might be going for a... A, a reverse Boston crab, oh, my goodness! Oh, my gosh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God! Diablo Azteca just struck his foot into that anvil. That center block, and it's all legal. So as much as you want to complain and, and, and cry about how immoral it was, oh. it was, no. But he, he, didn't he take left the, him up. But why? He left it because he wants to inflict more damage. This is a deep rivalry. It is personal. This is not about just a match, Wexler. This is about ending Phoenix's career. Well, I don't know if you heard, but Diablo just said, I want to end it inside the middle of that ring. Exactly. He, he wants to, just like how Robbie Phoenix wants to, end it on a good note. He wants to do it the proper way inside the middle of that squared circle. And right now, Diablo is taking a springboard. Oh! oh! Beautiful! Wow! Only a two count Catching right there. him out of midair and slamming him down with a beautiful power slam. That was impressive. Again, if we talk about that veteran experience, that is Robbie Phoenix. And taking a little nice thumbnail picture right there. Shout out to our photography crew at ringside. And Robbie, wait. He's going to ringside again and looking underneath the ring for something. Again, this is an L.A. street fight. So pretty much anything and everything is legal. Everything is legal. That means low blows, chairs, anything you can think of. And so you can't complain. That's true. You, you can't mean, say they're nefarious means. It is legal. I mean, although it is legal, I mean, there are some questionable tactics. But look at this. A trash can. A solid steel trash can. But he took something out of it. What Wait a that? second. Those are cooking materials. We have a roller right there, like you roll dough or whatever. Oh, but he looks like he's rolling Azteca's head right there. Oh, my. Oh, oh straight to the forehead. Jeez. Oh, again, this does not look. Oh, no. Oh. oh. That, you, you see? What do you think about that? It's legal. You even say it's that not legal. Immoral? That is immoral. He just hit him with the freaking thing you book, you bake cookies with on his private parts. It's definitely some huevos being scrambled, but oh no. Oh no! No! Robbie Phoenix with some unique creative tactics here. He said, no, you will not populate the future of this earth. I will make sure that you are the only one. You will not have sons. Well, off the ropes of the corner from pillar to post. Uh, going in. 
Oh! Drop toehold right there to the corner. Chopping that knee out. And that's Tekka going after that ringside area. And back at that trash can. But I don't know if you noticed, Enoch, but Azteca maybe limping a little bit. Maybe that leg was targeted. Maybe that's a little bit of a disadvantage. I, absolutely. I, you could tell that his knee is, is definitely being favored at this moment. And Azteca... Oh. Shots right to the it's exposed. There's no hair on his head. Those shots are just completely unprotected. Oh, no. Now, now might be going for what looks like a, a damn Terminator. Maybe a coast to coast. Coast I, to coast. I mean. Oh, I, no. No. Oh, oh, my God. He said, no, you will not coast to coast me. Robbie Phoenix with every ounce of his will, just threw that trash can like it was nothing. And look at this. Oh! That leg, that chair is assisted leg drop. Oh, this does not look good. Robbie Phoenix taking Azteca to the middle rope. Oh, oh into the top. It's punching him straight in the mouth. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Azteca, you got this. Oh, no. Oh, no! Just, no! Just, just stabbing Azteca, maybe even ripping off the mask. Oh, my God! What do you think about that? That is disrespectful, especially in Lucha Libre culture, to remove his mask. That's true. But, again, this is all frustration coming out of Robbie Phoenix. But, oh, Azteca coming back. Forearms to the face. Uh -oh. Huge headbutt takes Robbie Phoenix down. Well, fixing his mask. Come on, Diablo. Oh! Huge face punch right there. And Might oh. be going for a muscle buster here. Picking him up. Oh. Oh, no. Unable to do it. Oh! oh my. Super kick. Man. Kicking yeah. Robbie straight in the jaw. He can barely stand. But listen to this crowd. Going for Robbie Phoenix, despite Diablo's efforts. Oh, look at this. To the corner, trio oh. roll position. Oh! Hanging him upside down now. Oh, no. Oh, take him. Is he going for that coast to coast again? Oh, no. Oh! Drop kick to that trash can, hitting Diablo's face. See, Robbie learned his lesson. He saw the coast-to-coast -coast didn't work, so he decided to do his own version. State to state. Wait, Robbie has something in his hands. This does not look good. He's smelling it. What is in there? I, I don't know. What is, what is, what is this? They're saying Chia. Oh! Just burning the mouth of Diablo Azteca. I mean, if you're Diablo Azteca, aren't you used to fire? Aren't of you course. used to spice? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you would think so. They say one more time. Oh, what is Robbie Phoenix looking for right here after most likely destroying the mouth of Diablo Azteca? This, wait, wait a second here. What He's is looking. he going for? He's looking for something. Oh! Robbie bringing out a traffic cone. Where does that go? I mean, that's usually stopping traffic, but I mean, I don't know in a wrestling match what you would... Oh, a broom! He brought out a broom and also a cone. And this does not look any good for Diablo Azteca. I mean... Oh, huge blow to the midsection of that broomstick. Good thing we're not in Salem right now, or else he would have been accused. Oh, oh, oh no. What? Wait a second. Oh, no. No. Oh! oh. Talk about a home run hit right there. Oh, and again, I talk about the Salem Witch Trials. You don't want to be in that position. Oh, again, going after the Webos. 
My gosh, how are these people cheering this, this act of violence? Robbie out here beating a man that's already hurt. Oh, but again, we talk about that months of frustration. Coming out of Robbie Phoenix, the crowd's loving it. And, oh, was going for maybe a Hercule Oh, but he's back oh, with the pop-up power Beautiful bomb. power bomb. And again, I have to ask you, Enoch, I mean, at this point of the match, we see Diablo Azteca regrouped. What does he have to do to get back in this match? He's going to need to pull something out of his sleeve that differentiates him from every single person on this roster. He's going to have to pull deep in order to beat the veteran of Robbie Phoenix. Oh no, but you talk about that. He brought out a steel chair and when he ever comes to a steel chair, that is never a good sign for anybody. But stacking them towards each other a little bit. Oh! Oh, smashing that trash can. A double stomp to that trash can. It must, up. It must have owed him money. I, I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, he beat, he beat the life out of that trash can. <sighs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, when you're stacking up chairs, it's one thing. But when you're stacking them chairs with that trash can, right. it's never a good sign for anybody. No, there's no easy way to fall on that stack there. And Robbie is in trouble. Diablo going for... Oh no. Uh, it could be a Splash Mountain style power Wait a bomb. second. I was going for a, a gory special maybe, but no. Robbie. Oh no. Going for a suplex. Oh, no. of oh! oh! Here's a cover. One, two, three. Oh! And Robbie Phoenix getting no. the victory. Being able to pull out the win with that snap. Uh, body slam onto the chair and that aluminum trash can. Robbie Phoenix with the victory that will be remembered not only for tonight but for years to come. He had gone through hell and back, Enoch, to finally get that victory clean in the middle of that ring in an L.A. street fight. He did. I, I'm not a fan of the pandering, but I will say that Robbie Phoenix showed a lot of heart and was able to get the win here. Even though he did some nefarious tactics, which you approve of now because you love Robbie. Uh, <laughs> nefarious? I mean, again, this was an L.A. street fight. Everything was legal. And again, Diablo Azteca did those nefarious tactics the first few times they met, and finally they met his match. What a huge victory for Robbie Phoenix. And again, what a moment for him. And the crowd here at East LA loving him. Again, after months of going back at each other, and it's finally come to a cult. Yep. Unfortunately, Robbie Phoenix is your winner. I mean, I was rooting for Diablo, but what can you say? Oh, but wait a minute. Diablo still in the ring. The, what does this mean? A little face to face right now. Oh. Oh, wait. Well, would you look at this? Respect shown by Diablo Azteca. Wow. Huge respect to both of these competitors. And, I mean, what a fantastic match between these two. I mean, what can you say? Fantastic match, as you had said before. And again, both veterans in their own right putting it all on the line here at East Los Lucha and Lucha Extreme. And fans, while we have a moment, we want to thank one of our sponsors, SE Shirts and Hoodies, which if you got, want to get some cool hoodies, make sure to hit them up. They're on Instagram at SE underscore sh Shirts and Hoodies, and on YouTube as well at SE Shirts and Hoodies. So make sure you guys go follow. Huge thank you to them. I'm personally going to get a hoodie myself after this. So huge thank you to them as well. And huge congratulations to Robbie Phoenix, who's getting some love for the fans right now.
can you, can you stop pandering to these fans? I mean, every single time you open your mouth, I, I have to slowly die inside. Slowly I, die? I mean, because you, you care so much about what these people think and, and favoring every single yay and boo. I, 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 I love the good guys. My name is Mike Wexler. <sighs> well, no, these fans are hard-working people. They paid their hard-earned money to make it to an event like this. So that's why the people here at East Los Lucha help us be who we are today. Okay. Fine, you know, I mean, whatever. You're gonna pander, you're a panderer, so I can't change you, right? You are who you are. But look at uh, Robbie Phoenix enjoying this moment. And right now we're gonna send it to our general manager, Pinky Santino. Right now, Enoch, we are about to witness something quite unique here at East Los Lucha. Here we have the graduate, Chaz Price. I mean, the Enoch, I know future. you're clapping. I know you're clapping. You're admiring the graduate. I mean, he has a little bit of a smart mouth, which I disagree with at all. But here's the thing. Last show, he was a part of a fatal four-way. He did not shake the hand of Oscar Felix. And he's coming in tonight very, very cocky and very, very confident that no one will step up to the graduate Chaz Price. He is cocky, he is confident because he knows that he is the future of professional wrestling. Chaz Price is a fantastic athlete and he is a great person in and out of the ring. And if you think he's cocky, if you think he has a chip on his shoulder, that's a problem with you. Well, I mean, again, he was here. Last East Los Lucha showing, wait a minute, he's grabbing a microphone. Your Chaz Price. And this is going to be quite the unique, unique matchup here, Enoch. I, I mean, I, I, I feel sorry for Delilah Duke coming out here to wrestle Chaz Price. I mean, come on. I mean, what chance does she stand against this perfection? Perfection? Well, when we talk about perfection, we talk about one of the best in not only SoCal, but all the West Coast in Delilah Doom. She puts her heart and more into professional wrestling and a catchy song to come up with it as well. Are you a fan of How I Met Your Mother? I, sadly, yes. Yeah, Why? But you love this song, though. I mean, let's go to the mall, you know? I don't want to go to the mall with you. But let's send it to Pinky. You always want to hold hands and skip, and I'm not a fan of that.
Doom answering Chaz Price's challenge. And it's quite interesting, Enoch. It is, in a sense, not just an open challenge, but a chance for Chaz Price to end the undefeated streak of Delilah Doom here at East Los Lucha. <laughs> Delilah Doom, a fan favorite here, undefeated. I mean, what could you say about her? I mean, these, these people love her, and Chaz Price is going to make an example out of her. Her name spells it out, Delilah's Doomed. Delilah's Doomed? I don't think so, because right now Chaz Price getting a hold of that headlock right there, but look Ooh. at Delilah Doom. It's that, that veteran instinct. A beautiful top wrist lock there. Oh, now spinning into a headlock. All right, Delilah Doom is incredibly impressive. I, I, I can't say ba anything bad about her. But again, Chaz Price, whether you agree with him or not, he's been impressive yes. here at not only East Los Lucha, but yeah. oh, just coming off of his rookie Muscles. year as well. Are you standing up? Yes. Beautiful. Because that's how you do it. You step in the ring with that man, you're going to get knocked oh. down. Oh. But again, that veteran instinct. <laughs> oh, I think we might have to count here. No, 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 no. Here we go. No, no, no. One. No. And two. No. And three. No, Chaz, you just don't, don't encourage this behavior. Uh, there, that was four good steps. And look at this, a gator roll. There's no room for jazz in wrestling, ever. I think there is, you know. I mean, get a little good workout in. and But Jazz Price getting control now. Did you just call him Jazz Price? I said Chaz Price. Oh, come on. It's getting in your head, all of this jazzercise. Oh, beautiful double reversal there. Now throwing her. Oh, oh, my God. The power of Chaz Price. Looking to slam her down, possibly. Here we go. Oh. Oh. You charm drag right there by Delilah Doom. And now goes to the corner, but Chaz evades it. But look at this by Delilah. Double spring to that second rope. Oh. oh. Kicking that right arm. And beautiful Huda Carano. Oh. Beautiful athleticism shown there by Delilah Doom. Wow. I hate to say it, but it looks like Delilah is having an early advantage here in this match. Now, oh, oh, beautiful Tiger Faint, 619. He's going for that Tiger Faint, as you said before, but goes to the outside. Oh, oh. Meteora to the ground. Oh, my God. Going right in front of the East Los Lucha Faithful and Delilah Doom on a roll. She could keep that undefeated streak alive here at East Los Lucha, you know. I mean, you, you got to believe in her. No matter what, no matter if you're a fan or not, these people believe in her. I agree 110%. Oh, she's going to the top. It's, it could be going for a, a crossbody. Yep. Oh, oh, and you called it. One, two. Oh. Only a two count right thank there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody has a price, and he's not willing to pay it, okay? He is going to be the victor here. Oh, off the ropes. Oh. Quesadora. Oh. 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 Catches her. Quesadora into that back suplex. Chaz covering. That's it. Oh, mm. but only a two count right there, says referee RJ. Almost ended this match early with that beautiful Quesadora into a back suplex. I mean, again, we talk about that unique offensive style of Delilah Doom, but Chaz Price, I mean, he's kind of taking a little too long gloating to the crowd and not getting into this match. No. Oh, oh back oh. suplex right there. Wrestling is psychological. What Chaz is doing, he is getting into the head of Delilah. He's making these people doubt Delilah that there is even a sliver of a chance that she can win this match. I mean, again, he's a little bit of a smart mouth, but right now, I mean, he's taking control of this match. Another suplex. Oh, no. Oh! Wearing down that back of Delilah Doom. She can't exercise. She can't jazzercise if she can't walk. Ah, but again, only a two count right there. And again. Chaz Price slowly breaking down the back of Delilah. Again, if you don't have that back, you can't stand. You really can't fight. You can't fight. You can't dance. It's not dance. It's jazzercise. It's a, there's a difference. Oh, my God. You're such a nerd. Oh, but look at this. Thing. Come on. Don't. Mock Delilah Doom like that, Chaz. Come on now. Keep on doing it, Chaz. That's how you break down the spirit of this woman. And don't you start talking about jazzercise. I've seen your TikToks dancing in your underwear. Give me a break. You are biased. 
But right now, oh my goodness, what a nice hit <laughs> shot by Chaz Price. Beautiful Chaz. Again, just taking his time with this match. And Chaz Price just measuring her, might be going in for the kill. Here he goes. Oh, oh huge no, kick to the Chaz. face. Yeah, no, going no. back, oh, two boots. No, pulling her. Oh, oh, beautiful. What a maneuver there, pulling her right into his knee. And right, here's the cover. Only a two count right there, says referee RJ. She's going to need a backyotomy after this. I mean, I don't know, but Chaz, again, as you had said before, going after that back, and it's been really successful thus far, but again, it's that never die spirit right. of Delilah Doom that keeps on fighting, but again, that overhead punch and that kick to the back, ruthless. Beautiful, just doing what it needs, what he needs to do. He needs to put Delilah down. There, there are no friends here. Oh. It does not matter that Delilah is a woman. He will, he will kick her. Th oh. this, this is a fair ground, right? Men and women, they're equals. I so come on, Chaz, beat I her down. I, I mean, again, but it, D Delilah Doom still fighting back, and oh no. Oh, oh come oh. on, beautiful, poking her right in the eyes. <laughs> How are you commending this? How because? Because he has the finesse, he has the charisma, he's got the ability to be a star. Oh no, off the ropes from the snapmare. Oh, oh, into an elbow beautiful drop. Beautiful snapmare right into that elbow drop. One, two. Uh, ah, only a two count right there, says referee RJ. This referee is counting way too slow. I mean, referee RJ, one of the best of SoCal. Calling it down the middle. You cannot count out his ability. But right now, Chaz Price. Truly, I mean, he does have the haircut that is best for aerodynamics when he is in there refing. But look at this, Delilah Doom trying to fight back, but Chaz Price, once again. Chaz Price now shooting her off, might be finished, might be going for that. Oh! Ooh. Knee to the gut, and Russian, Russian leg, leg sweep. sweep. Oh, look at this! Transition. Into that submission move. Oh, no, Delilah. no, 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 come on, Chaz. Oh, the shoulders down, only a one count right there. I mean, that submission maneuver takes out so many people in the past, but look at this by Chaz going for maybe an STO. Chaz calls himself the graduate. He might be looking to help Delilah graduate into a, into her first loss. But backslide right here by Delilah, oh. only a two count. Chaz going for that clothesline. No, 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 Delilah running him off. Might be going for O'Connor roll. Oh, oh, no, 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 rolling through. Camel oh. clutch. No. Yes, she does. And she, she's able to lock it in, is this it? That beautiful transition right there. Again, we talk about that veteran instinct that Delilah does have over Chaz, the graduate, the highest as quote unquote. Oh, but she, we have to give it to Chaz. I mean, that, that size advantage coming into play, but Delilah not saying die. And two. You cannot. Three. Oh. Maybe we're gonna go for an and four. Oh. oh. Delilah Doom might be pulling out, would you say it's an upset? Last show, she defeated Chris Nasty. I mean, that is true. A former East Los Lucha champion in his own right. Looking to keep that streak alive. But again, that slight height advantage oh, of Chaz Price. Beautiful. Oh. Ramming her back first into that turnbuckle. And oh, wait oh. a minute. Beautiful roll. Chaz Price just so talented. Oh, oh going face first. Oh, but look at this, off the ropes. Going for that patented 619. Oh. oh, that's... Huge shout out to San Diego. I hate to say it, but this could be it. Going for that tornado DC. Oh, oh no, no. Chaz, kick out. Here's a cover. No, 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 no. One, One two. two. Oh. oh, only a two count right there. Thank you, God. Chaz cannot lose here. He is on an upward trajectory towards the top of professional wrestling. And he's going to start with Delilah Doom. I mean, again, she has pulled out everything and more in this match. Maybe potentially going for sparkle motion. Maybe we're going to see it right here. Double underhook. But again, we're no, talking no, about no, that no. size. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh no. Oh! oh! Beautiful. 
side effect there. One, two. Oh, oh, almost able to defeat her. He might be going for that high marks moonsault here soon just to take Delilah out of action. I mean, going after that side effect, huge impact to the body, but if he goes for that moonsault, I mean, it could be over. I mean, it, it would have to be over. I mean, he's defeated everybody with that moonsault. Okay, here we goes. The graduate, but he's not going for that moonsault. Going he might for be going a for a, a brain buster. Oh, no. That his patented oh. brain buster. Oh, no, Roll small up. package. No, two. Oh, thank you, God. But look at that transition by Chaz. Beautiful. Might be going, no. And two. Oh. Two. two huge knees. Oh, might be going for... Oh, oh, beautiful pedigree. That has to be it. No, no. Oh, oh thank you, God. Chaz Price able to get the shoulder up at the last minute. How can you count him out? He is going to come back. He is going to show all these fans that you can dream big. You can win. Oh. Yeah, but Delilah Doom disrespectful, just kicking him in the disrespected. mouth. Disrespected. I mean, she's fighting back. I mean, she's trying to defend her undefeated streak here at East Los Lucha. Oh, oh, and a huge knee to the face of Chaz Price. Oh, taking the big man Chaz, down. Oh, catch it. Oh, oh. beautiful sit out spine buster. This could be a one, two. Th oh, no. Only a two count, says referee RJ. That was so close. What is it going to take to put Delilah Doom down? Doomies never say die. It's not just a catchphrase. It's the life that she lives. Well, again, as you had said, Doomies never say die. That's her mentality. And it's showing right here in this match. But, oh, oh there we go. High marks. Here we go. She's going for that moonsault. That's it. Oh. No. Oh, no. How is that legal? That was a perfectly executed maneuver. Oh it was totally God. legal. It she caused him to hit his nether regions. It is not legal. She is cheating. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, Jazz Price. Yes. Yes. Maybe he was going for that moonsault from marks. that position. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? Oh, huge chop to the chest. She might be going for the sparkle motion here. Oh, From no, the no, top no. rope? Oh, oh no. no, 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 Chad's picking her up. There's oh. no way she can hit the sparkle motion from here. No, elbowing out. Oh, no, just multiple elbows taking the big bang down. Oh, yeah. this it. Here we go. Oh, wait. Sparkle motion catches. Oh, sparkle motion from the top rope. No, Cover. no, no. One, One two, two, three. three. Delilah Tube with a huge victory! Oh, no, darn it! Darn it! Chad Price losing to Delilah Doom in the ninth inning, inning via Sparkle Motion? From the top rope, I mean, the height of that was absolutely phenomenal. And again, let's not mind you, Enoch, she's keeping her undefeated streak alive here at East Los Lucha. What a victory for East Los Lucha, for Delilah Doom in this match, my goodness. And all credit to Chaz Price, but again, his attitude got the better of him, and that's how Delilah Doom ended up winning the Open Challenge. What a phenomenal victory. Chaz Price has all the tools to be a main event player here, but was unable to get the job done against Delilah Doom. She's just got, she's got too much heart. I so, mean, let's be honest. So much heart, so much passion, and right now we're gonna send it back to our general manager, Pinky Santino, who has some nice pink shoes on for sure. You know Rancho that Camacho. I you mean, love him. I, I mean, there's no lie. You probably and have dollars. If you hear the music, Enoch, oh we're God. about to see Retcho, Sancho, Camacho. Oh, my God. An East Los Lucha favorite.
I mean, he was featured, by the way, on a very recent lottery commercial. I think everybody knows what we're talking about right here. And everybody he might be saw. hitting the lottery tonight with a victory. Everybody saw him in that commercial. He is a, a recognized face wherever he goes. I hate to say it, but he is one of the most popular wrestlers in, in East Los Lucha. I mean, I personally don't like him. I'm sure you do. These fans do. But what can you do about it? Well, I mean, you got to give the man credit. I mean, he debuted in 2019 and trained under the lights of Little Chola, Mariachi Loco, over at the House of Lucha in OC. County. So it's going to be great to see him here tonight with that experience. A absolutely. I mean, he's got a lot of experience. I mean, he's trained by some great trainers. I mean, I, I hate his pandering, but I'm going to say he is a fantastic wrestler. One of our most favorable athletes here at East Los Lucha, but wait a second. This does not look like a good sign. What's his name? Rayo Star. Rayo Star. Yeah, Rayo Star. Is that you say it? Rayo Star. Okay, it's Rayo Star. Rayo okay. Star. Well, Come here on. comes Rayo Star. Entering there he is. The East Los Lucha Arena. And one thing to note, he's a 12-year pro. Last show, he made his California debut over here at East Los Lucha. So, a very renowned name has wrestled at AAA in Mexico and in Major League Wrestling recently. So, he's definitely made a name for himself for sure. Right, absolutely. And last show, he faced Kodo Hero for the championship. So, I mean, this guy has all the accolades, all the accomplishments, and he's going to defeat the fan favorite Rancho here. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, standing to my left, he weighs in at 181 pounds, fighting out of Arcelia Guerrero, Mexico. Oh my. All right. You tried to make it all ethnic. Sometimes it doesn't need to be done. All right, buddy. But Save those rolls for another day. For the bakery. For the bakery, indeed. But right now, <laughs> referee Charlie Wu checking on Ryo Star and Rancho Camacho. And to be what is to be an exciting match here at East Los Lucha. Oh, I mean... That's not to discount either man's talent. These fans are in for a show here. I don't like the pandering. Look at him dancing with the referee, trying to get these people to dance. Stop it! I dig it. I dig it. It's a little. This is not a rest. This is a wrestling show. This is not a dancing show. Are you just dancing with the stars? Did you? Is this American Idol? Do, are we going to tell them they're going to Hollywood? Then shut your mouth. Stop dancing, you fool. But again, there's. Again, the East Los Lucha faithful going behind Ryo Star as well. Both fan favorites here at East Los Lucha. No, 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 no. He's pretending. He's he's a rudo at heart. Oh, but oh, already look at this. Beautiful oh. Lucha Libre style transaction here. Oh wow. Arm Whoa. drag after arm drag. Wow. Both these men flying. Oh, a pin. No. Enoch, it's, this is going to be wow. one of those matches uh -oh. where the other man can't blink. No, no, no. Uh, both men doing the smart thing, putting their foots down. Wow. I Beautiful mean, start. 
you go ahead and clap. Clap, clap, clap. Come on, you know you love it. I mean, how can you not love it? It's back in ship. I mean, how can you not love it? It's back in fourth action. No, you're right. No, both men are very talented. I just do not like the pandering. Rancho just comes out here and just... Oh, the handshake, maybe. No, oh, but don't shake his hand. Oh, good handshake there, sportsmanship. Look at that. He's sportsmanship. Oh, oh, my goodness. What a super kick by Ryo Starr. Highlighting his talents all over the world. And beautiful shooting him off. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, dodging his Rancho Camacho, and look at this. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful Herc and Rana-like maneuver. It's called a head scissors. You never seen a head scissors? I did. It's like a little... It's a head and a scissors. All right, and then there goes... Oh, but... Whoa. Oh, springboard. Whoa. Handspring ducks the clothesline, and look at this. Wow. Oh, beautiful Herc and Rana. That was a Herc and Rana. That was a hurricane. That is true. And what a beautiful hurricane it was. Now, oh, no. fans move out of the way. Might be going for a dive here, hitting the ropes. Off the ropes to the. Oh! Beautiful suicide dive. Going into the crowd area. Referee Charlie Wu checking on both men. What a way to start off this match. That's Lucha Libre at its finest right here. Charlie Wu going back in the ring now. But both men trying to regroup themselves and, oh no. This does not look good, fans. Rancho Camacho on a chair right now. Oh! Huge kick by Ryo Starr. And taking him. Right back in the ring. Yeah, Ryo knows that the only way that he can win the match is to put R Rancho back in the ring. See, Ryo, Rancho, I, I, I'm, the, the, the accents are screwing me up. We need to pick one. Rancho. R Rancho. R R Rancho. Rancho Camacho. All right, buddy. Ryo now sizing him up. And look at this. Ryo star. So the corner, but Rancho reverses oh. it. Ryo stopping, oh. big boot to the face. Oh, rolling right into, whoa! Oh my god! What a beautiful move, wow! Only rolling a two count. into a code red type maneuver, wow. Just totally shocking this crowd. Turning Rancho Camacho inside out. I mean, that was absolutely beautiful. Lucha Libre right there. And again, Rancho Camacho might have to face his toughest task yet with Ryo Starr. And here comes Ryo Starr. Oh, oh look at this. Coming back in, rebound. Oh, oh, beautiful spinning heel kick and a German. Oh. oh, one, two. Only a two count right there, says Charlie Wu. That German suplex almost got Rancho Camacho the victory. And now he might have been able to got, get the victory if he had been able to bridge fully, but him being beaten down from that dive earlier, he was unable to get that bridge. Now I gotta ask you, Enoch, I mean, do you give the advantage to the size advantage or do you give it to the speed? Like where does the, where do you see this match going for either one of these competitors? Oh, I mean, it, it's, it's fairly Ooh. even the size different isn't that big of a factor and their speed is pretty even so it, it really is anybody's game but I feel like Ryo is not willing to pander this crowd and is willing to do whatever it takes to get the win oh my god oh, oh my god oh my god can he destroy what a beautiful pile driver jumping around his head to it oh only a two count right there. Did you see that transition going straight to the post and then not only going to a Hurricane Rana like maneuver, but transitioning that into that Canadian Destroyer? Absolutely. I mean, that was that was phenomenal. Ryo Starr showing that he is in a league of his own. In, in this match, he's look at the, in the past two minutes, he's done two fantastic moves that have shocked and awed this crowd. Look at their faces, begging for their hero to get up. I wouldn't consider him a hero per se, but I do have to respect the inside ability, the in-ring ability per se, of Ryo Starr. Again, the last time he was here, he faced off for the Cruiserweight oh. Championship, but look at this. Oh no. Oh, Death Valley Driver into that back elbow cover. 
Only oh, a two kill. Thank you, thank you. I mean, what a beautiful sequence of maneuvers right there. R Rancho can barely stand on his feet, trying to get this crowd behind him. And look at this. The East Los Lucha faithful Riley behind Rancho Sancho Camacho. This is again, this is going to be his downfall, pandering to this crowd, these people. Oh, and look at this. Getting to his feet. Rancho Camacho. Who's going to hit the first move? Oh, oh. blocks it. Oh, blocks that. Oh, look at this transition. That athleticism Whoa. showing by Rancho. Ducks the clothesline is Ryo. Ryo ducks the clothesline now. Oh, double kick takes both men down. Beautiful. Both men going for the same move, having the same idea. Both men knowing and scouting each other so well. Oh. Look at that. Were, were, were they touching? It, yeah, it that, looked like yeah, there was a pin that maneuver. That was interesting, yeah. It seemed to me that Rancho's foot had landed on top of Ryo Star, which counted as a pin, which, again, Charlie Wu, one of the best on the Southwest Coast, calling it right down the middle. Absolutely can see you sucking up to even the referees. Are you kidding me? Is, is, I mean, do you want him to, to referee at your quinceanera, too? I would. He's a great referee. He, that is true. That is true. But look at this right now. Oh, exchanging forearms now. Vicious forearms by both men. Oof. And again, these two, as you had stated before, knowing each other's next moves, and it's really interesting to see. Oof. I mean, you got to give you got to give your your props oh! to both of these men hitting each other so hard. If you had been forearmed, you would be crying right now. Oh, but look at this. Rancho Camacho's not standing down. And look at this. Standing up to uh -oh. Ryo Star. Ryo said, you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Here we go. Oh. And... Oh! oh! My God! Both men saying that they want to be the toughest man in the ring. Oh, giving each other whoa. chops straight to the chest. Exposing that chest. Oh! oh! It seems each and every chop Enoch gets worse and worse and worse. This crowd just wants a bloodbath. They want to see these two men inflict so much pain on each other. That's what I'm saying. This crowd is fickle. They will turn on you in a second, Wexler. Oh! oh. Like gunshots to the chest. And another one! Ducks the clothesline is Rancho. Oh. Kicks him in the midsection. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at this! Oh my oh. god! Oh, beautiful rebound, Spanish fly too. Oh! And Ryo Star wow. with the victory! I mean, Ryo Star coming out on top with that beautiful slingshot, Spanish fly! Ryo Star with a huge victory over Rancho Camacho. Ryo Star showing his 11, 12 years of experience in the ring was just too much for Rancho Camacho. Again, like you had said, I mean, as much as I disagree, I mean, he got the job done. And again, that experience shows. But all kudos to Rancho Camacho. I mean, he put it all on the line here tonight. There is nothing for him to be ashamed of here at East Los Lucha. And look at this, Ryo Star in the middle of the ring. Again, what a hell of a match these two had. No, no, no. Ugh. There you go, sportsmanship. Giving the credit to Rancho Sancho Camacho. All the cool points that he just had are just completely wiped off the slate because he's here pandering to these people. Yes, it was a great match. Yes, they're both great competitors, but... A show of respect between two great luchadors. I mean, what a match. I mean, Ryo Star giving it our, the very best to East Los Lucha. And Rancho Camacho giving, look at that, with the crowd right now. Very favorable here at East Los Lucha. The crowd loves him when we do too. Oh, oh. Said, he's, 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 he
kids, I got child support. I got a bunch of bitches at home. I, 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 I thought you were going to say that, you know, you were staying in room 210. No, no, no. And, and, and that's how much they got away to get it, también. Hey, but there's a will, there's a way. It's like soccer, bro. There's a goalie, but you can always score no matter what. Enoch, I don't know if we're in a safe position right now because right now we are going to witness true extreme with this no disqualification match for the number one contendership for the Cruiserweight Championship. Absolutely. Between two of the greatest Cruiserweight wrestlers of all time. I mean, and we... No, absolutely. I agree with you. And right now coming out first is the man that stays fly all the time. We're talking about a former East Los Lucha Cruiserweight champion in Eli Everfly. Get it? Because it's like fly, stay fly. Of, co of course. I mean, what, what yeah. a lame joke. But Eli known for defeating the Miz. Right. I mean, how many people can say that they defeated the Miz? Right. He pinned them straight down. One, two, three, back in SmackDown in 2018. And I also want to add in there, Shane McMahon was a part of the other side of the ring during that match. So like, technically, he beat two best in the world, but that's just me. I mean, he kind of beat two best in the world right there. Look, I, I'm rarely going to sit out here and, and gush over people who pander to the fans, but Eli Everfly is the exception. One of, one of the greatest wrestlers, I mean, that's ever been in Southern California. I mean, again, one part of the Doom Barbies. I mean, he's helped Delilah Doom. He's helped the Barbie boy. And then now he's trying to make a statement by regaining that cruiserweight championship that he has held long ago. Absolutely. I mean, I was there when Koto Hero defeated Eli multiple times multiple times and now Eli wants to jump to the front of the line and be number one contender. Well he has a tough task ahead of him. I mean yes he is very familiar with the East Los Lucha faithful but going against someone new in Damian Drake. I mean it's going to be definitely a new one for the fans to see but not only that but for Eli ever fly the face. Absolutely. Damian Drake one of the most fantastic wrestlers in Las Vegas if not all of wrestling right and, and he's not somebody that will come out here and pander to these people he's someone that goes out there and gets the job done that's what makes him different than Eli right Eli's out here kissing people's hands and shaking babies and all that stuff give me a break well as we approach Eli's opponent a chance at the cruiserweight championship here at East Los Lucha is on the line Whoever wins this match goes on to face whoever is that champion at the end of the night at a future date. So we cannot wait as we await the arrival of Damian Drake. Yeah, whether that person is Kodo or Sonico, who do you think is going to come out? I'm not too sure, but what I am sure of is that Damian Drake Ooh. has a new attitude going in to Love East it. Los Lucha. And when I say new attitude, I'm not talking about, yeah, he doesn't go with the crowd anymore. I mean, this man right here is a whole new person. Once upon a time ago, he was unguided. Once upon a time ago, he was the new 80s icon. But now, he wants to do things on his own. Now, he wants to take things into his own hands. Not only in Las Vegas, but here in Southern California as well. Trained by D'Lo Brown, he has that experience. A staple over at FSW. Former three-time FSW Tag Team Champion and No Limits Champion. He has a lot of accolades, but we'll see if he'll add the Cruiserweight Championship to that accolade list. But let's send it over to Piggy Santino.
to get a head start. Yes. That's what you need to do. There are no rules in this match. He attacks Eli. Eli dropped his guard. That is Eli's fault. Well, Eli's fault. How are you commending this pre-match attack? How are you commending oh. that Damian Drake's getting a head start in this match? Because there are no rules. There, there, this, what, what did he do that was illegal? Well, regardless right now, Damian Drake again taking control in the early stages all of this match. And again, getting an opportunity at that Cruiserweight Championship here at East Los Lucha. And then potentially winning that Cruiserweight Championship could be another accolade in his already big list of accolades. Absolutely. Eli has won so many championships and he's looking to add oh! ooh, that so Cruiserweight Championship to his list of accolades. But again, one could argue that Eli needs this victory more. One could say that La Mosca needs that championship back in order to get that momentum back. But oh no, oh no, oh! Are you trying to say that Eli has lost his edge? No, not that necessarily. That he's looking to regain his edge once more. I think it would be a great opportunity for Eli Everfly to get that championship back. That's all I'm saying. I felt like that it would be another huge accolade for his career. But again, I get someone oh. like Damian Drake. Oh! I mean, it's going to be a tough oh, challenge. Oh, it's nuts first, twice in a row. Excuse uh, me? The, the, the what? Uh, just nether regions, twice in a row. And Damian Drake, again, a, a veteran in his own right. Ten years and oh, oh! On the hardest part of the ring, Eli looks to be in trouble right here. Damian Drake just toying with him, slamming him back first onto that apron. Knowing, I mean, 11 years of dangerous moves. Oh, oh my, God. my God! Have surely withered down the body of Eli Everfly. And now Damian Drake now dissecting the back of the fly. Do, do flies have backs? Do they? You I tell they me. Had, I thought they had wings. Oh no, but look at this, Damian Drake playing to the crowd right here. And Damian I, Drake just uh, showing the crowd Eli's damaged face. Oh! Ooh, slamming him head first onto that apron. And again, no rules. Everything is legal in this match. As apropos as it is, as we are in Lucha Extreme. But again, taking his time with the crowd here, I don't know if that's a smart strategy right oh, here. Oh, now just punching him straight to the head. Oof. Oh, again, look at this. Ruthless. Fantastic. And again, just pot. You keep saying pantsering. Right now, Damian Drake is just pantsering to the crowd instead of getting the opportunity to get a pitfall. I think the word you're looking for is pandering. Pandering. Okay. Oh, my God. I will teach you words okay. after we're done here, buddy. All okay, right, but now off the shooting ropes. him off the ropes. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh. Had to just into that octopus stress. Stress. See, stretch. now you now you're making me forget words. Octopus stretch right there, just aiming right there. But look at this. Gets oh. out of it. Reversing. Throwing him the outside. Oh! Oh, shoulder tackle. Eli now going for that springboard. Oh, dragon rod. Oh. That was beautiful. I mean, dang. Gotta give credit where it's due. Oh, and a huge hit step up into Geary right there. Huge hit to the face, multiple. And La Mosca back on a roll. Eli is such a fantastic oh. athlete. As you can see, he can hit those moves and then he can turn around and just punch you right in your face. And again, listen to these fans wow. going behind La Mosca, Eli Everfly. <laughs> Off the ropes. Reversal there. Ducking one, off the ropes, oh! oh! Flying boot straight to the face of Eli Everfly. Damian Drake putting out the wings. One, two, only a two count, says referee RJ. La Mosca unable to get flight here. Is that another fly joke? Oh, I think it is. Oh, but look at this. Damian Drake arguing with referee RJ. I mean, you can't commend this, Enoch. This is not even enlightening at all. You, you've got to. He's saying that the referee is counting too slow. He needs to do a better job. One, two, three. Not one Mississippi. Two Mississippi. You don't know. You don't even know where Mississippi is. It's a state. And there's a river there. <laughs> but look at Oh, come oh. on now. Putting Eli back down with that beautiful forearm shot to the... 
right to the jaw. Damian Drake showing disrespect right now, and the fans are letting him hear it. And oh, look at this beautiful. taunting to the crowd. Oh, come on. Beautiful. He knows these crowds, that, that they're fickle. They don't care. These are hardworking people that spend their hardworking money for this show oh. and support East Los Lucha. Oh. oh, stacking his head. He's t his head is trapped in between that top buckle. Oh. Oh. But Eli fighting back. What's this? Oh, my God. Oh! Beautiful reverse oh hurricane Rana. Rana. Jumping off that second inch of that reverse Rana. What a beautiful transition. Landing Damian Drake straight on his head, giving Eli time to regroup right here. I mean, what more does Eli have to do oh. to get back? But no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness. He landed on his feet. But oh! oh. Kick to the face by Damian Drake. Oh, oh no. Drake. No, oh. no, 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 no. Oh! Sly spread onto that apron, and you know just as much as everybody does, that apron is the hardest part of the ring. Again, straight back into the into that apron. I mean, does that take out both men? Does that give Eli some sort of an advantage? Because you have to know that Eli is not fighting at 110% right now. No, absolutely not. But now he doesn't care. He's throwing caution to the wind, going for his trademark acai moonsault. Oh, no. No! Oh! What and a beautiful acai moonsault straight to the outside. And Eli saying he does not die. And the East Los Faithful, listen to this. This crowd just behind Eli, believing in everything that he does. Oh, he's going under the ring. What does that mean? Again, this is no disqualifications. I mean, anything and everything will go in this match. And this does not look good for Damian Drake. As Eli tries to look for something here with Damian Drake on the outside. Oh, he's grabbing a solid steel chair. And that is not good on the human body oh, at all. No, not at all. Oh. oh, oh my God! Just reeling back and throwing that chair into the face of Damian Drake. I mean, I got, I got, you know, I'm not a fan of the pandering, but Eli's got an edge to him. Eli's willing to do what it takes. I mean, when it comes to extreme, that is Eli Everfly. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. On to the back of Damian Drake. And again, it's, it's... Oh, no. Oh! oh. Huge blow to the Set back. Setting up those chairs. This does not look good. Whenever something is set up, it's, it's not... Oh! It's never a good sign. And at the last show, Enoch, I mean, Eli did something very similar to this to Alonzo Alvarez. And oh, Alonzo I, Alvarez did not get the better of it. Oh! No. Let's talk about the king of takedowns. I mean, Eli Everfly proving tonight that he could be the king of extreme for East Los Lucha. In this no disqualification match with the chance at the Cruiserweight title on the line. Eli Everfly, the unsung hero of hardcore. Oh, no. Oh. No, Damon, don't do no, this. No, 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 don't no, do no, no, this. No, 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 no. Oh, but thank God, thank goodness. Oh, he's biting him! How can that be legal? He's biting the face. I don't think flies bite, but look at this! Oh! Huge scoop slam onto those very, very oh, hard oh chairs. Oh my God, with both men standing on those st those chairs. Eli slamming Drake down hard with that beautiful scoop slam. Scoop slam into those chairs. And again, Enoch, I mean, you got to give it to Eli Everfly. He's been proving why East Los Lucha is Lucha Extreme right now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Eli has been a thorn in my side. Oh! It's Only for, a two count. For years, but I, I can't discount the amount of ability this man has. I mean, when it comes to non-disqualification matches or if it's a regular one-on-one, -on -one, Eli Everfly has done it all. I think even in a hardcore match, he feeds off of the pain. The more you hit him, the more he's willing to come back. And that's what Damien's not understanding. Oh. Well, an Irish rip to the corner to Eli Everfly. Gets Eli picking him up. Oh, but 
What could he be going for? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's could be going for that Spanish fly. Oh, that could be a dangerous maneuver for sure. But I mean, again, there is a little bit of a size advantage yeah. for. Oh, oh, big headbutts pushing Eli. No, going in between the legs. Super kick. Oh. oh, man, oh man. Might be going for that torture rack blue thunder bomb. Oh no, this does not look good. Damian Drake just picking him up. Oh, oh. beautiful maneuver, rolling him back, shooting him off the ropes, right into a. Oh, Arn Anderson spinebuster throwing him up. Oh, oh. Here's that's the cover. it. One, two. Oh. oh, so close yet so far from Damian. And come on, do not grab referee RJ Damian. Come on, it is warranted. RJ is unable to make a clear count. One, two, three. Like I said earlier, there's no Mississippis in wrestling. I mean, again, but what more does Damien have to do as he drags Eli Everfly to the center of the ring here? But wait a minute. We don't see this very often. Damien Drake going to the top. Going towards the top rope here. But again, the fans are going for Eli Everfly, but Damien Drake on a vulnerable position. Oh, going oh. for that double stop, missing. Oh, it's a Geary. Again, a chance at becoming the number one contender of the Cruiserweight Championship on the line. Oh, oh. ducking over that double stop. Now going to the corner, might be going, oh, wow. That athleticism of Eli Everfly ducks the clothesline. Oh, no, Quesadora. Oh, to a stutter, beautiful. My gosh. Kessadora Cutter now going, oh, cruiser oh. kicks driver. Oh, but he's not done, though. Oh, now setting him up. Might be going for that murder on Melrose. No, it's a package. Oh! oh. Package pile driver. That's one. it. One, two. Oh! Only a two count right there. No, he, 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 the referee's knee hit the ground, which made the fans think that that was the first count. Fans thought that that was it, stupid fans. You can't keep Damian Drake down. Well, again, even though he does have that 11-year veteran experience, I mean, Eli has been fighting. Eli has done it all. And now we're seeing it right here in potentially becoming, once again, the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship here at East Los Lucha. Absolutely. He might be setting him up for that Spanish flyer, going for that murder on Melrose. Ooh. Oh, just Jesus kicking him right in his face. Oh, no. Eli setting Damien on the top rope. Oh, okay, going for that Spanish fly. That's it. Oh, yeah, he's calling it. Could this be the key? But oh, oh no. Damien one step ahead. Damien going down low, crotching him on that top rope. Oh, wait. Now setting him up for a superplex. Might be going to a superplex on the outside. Oh, oh okay, okay. Superplexing him in. Now going for it. This could be it. Oh! He got all of it. Here's a cover. Damien. Oh my god. Damien Drake defeating Eli Everfly. One, two, three in that ring. Oh my gosh. And this might be the biggest upset in East Los Lucha history. He, I, I'm at shock. Damian Drake just became the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. So you know, Enoch, he has a close eye on that Cruiserweight Championship that will be coming after intermission between Kono Hero and Sonico. The winner of that match will face that man, Damian Drake. And yes, I don't agree with his actions. Yes, I don't agree with this new attitude. But you got to respect that he got the victory here tonight. Absolutely. I will never count out Damian Drake. He will do what it takes 11 years in. He knows what it takes to be the best. Everything is firing on all cylinders. We talk about those accolades that he has when it comes to being a seasoned veteran, three-time MSW Tag Team Champion and yes. No Limits Champion. Now he could potentially add Cruiserweight Champion to that list. Come on, yeah, come on now. I like come you. On. Go back I like over him. there. I like him. I don't like you. Yeah, you tell him. Copyright strike. You tell him. Copyright strike for sure. But regardless.
But regardless, we will be getting into our next match, which will be our Lucha Extreme Cruiserweight Championship. Welcome back to Lucha Extreme for East Los Lucha. My name is Mike Wexler alongside. And I am Enoch the Enlightened. Thank you so much for joining us for the second half of this fantastic show, which hopefully Wexler will not speak as much and you will just hear my voice. Well, regardless, <laughs> we have a great match coming up in Cruiserweight Championship action. We have truly a specimen unlike any other challenging for the Cruiserweight Championship. And when I say this, I mean we are looking at the man that will be coming out challenging for the Cruiserweight Championship and the Lucha Ghoul, Sonico. And not a well response for the Lucha Ghoul himself, a staple in the Pacific Northwest area for prestige. And not only that, for rival pro wrestling here in the Southern California area. But I mean, he's a little bit of aggressive luchador style. And, you know, taking down the champ, Kodo Hero, is going to be a quite the tough challenge. Absolutely. As much as I don't like Kodo, based on his choices, he has the heart of a champion. He will continue to keep on fighting. Lucha Goal is undead. He's already dead. So it's going to take everything Kodo has to finish off someone who is already dead. I mean, definitely the deceiving look of the realization of the Lucha Goal known as Sonico. And again, trying to take off that cruiserweight championship off of Kodo Hero is going to be quite the challenge. And, and Sonico's had quite a, a year. Last year he was on AEW and GCW Emo Fight and was also seen recently on Ring of Honor. Yeah, and right now we approach the champion, the East Los Lucha Cruiserweight Champion in Kodo Hero. And what, why are you staring at him like that? Because he betrayed me. Betrayed you? How? He betrayed me. I mean, look at the Cruiserweight Champion for East Los Lucha. I mean, Kodo Hero, when it comes to East Los Lucha, has been through hell and back. I mean, he has gone through mask versus hair. He has gone through so many extreme matches in the past that in a sense, Enoch, he has got the advantage heading and defending that Cruiserweight title. Absolutely, you, you can't take anything away from Kodo, like I said, as although I do not like him, that does not mean that he is not one of the best wrestlers in Southern California, if not the entire indie wrestling scene. Right. All the professional wrestling. I mean, they call him the mountain breaker for a reason. He breaks down the mountains that are put in front of him. And especially in Lucha Extreme matches where fans, anything and everything goes. I mean, the champ's gonna prove once again why he is East Los Lucha. He, the last time that Kodo Hero was the Cruiserweight Champion, he lost it to Eli Everfly. I was standing in his corner, Kodo Hero lost his marbles, decided to go nuts, and now he's finally found his way back to that Cruiserweight Championship, and here he is. Is he going to be able to retain it, Wexler? There's a good chance, again, I say he has an advantage when it comes to these Lucha Extreme matches. Again, I have to go back to it, his match with Chris Nasty in that mask versus hair match. I mean, his pride was on the line. Look at that, from the rafters is that kendo stick that is really synonymous with Kodo Hero. As we approach the moment where this extreme match begins, we're gonna send it down to our general manager, Pinky Santino. And listen to these fans, Enoch. Chanting for Kodo. I mean, his fans hated him a year ago. That's what I'm saying. They're fickle. It's scheduled for one fall. And it is for the East Los Lucha Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger. He's winning at 187 pounds. Fight! Seattle, Washington, this is 
as general manager Pinky Santino just ended those ringer introductions, there is a feel. There is a feel, not only a fight feel, but a brawl. A real championship feel here at East Los Lucha for the patented cruiserweight championship here at East Los Lucha. Kodo Hero, a two-time cruiserweight champion, champion here, excuse me, at East Los Lucha, Enoch. Do you, uh, how do you feel? And he, he cemented his legacy here. He's defeated everybody there is to defeat. And now he stands face to face with the undead. Someone who could realistically destroy all of his hopes and dreams. I mean, listen, I've seen the Lucha Ghoul in so many promotions across the Pacific Northwest and not only that, but of the West Coast. And let me tell you, he is no easy challenger to follow. I mean, he has taken out some of the very best, but look at this by Kodo offering a handshake. <laughs> what a fool. Oh, come on. What, what, do you, what, what is he trying to do? He's an honorable champion here at East Los Lucha. That's fine, but, but he should know that the, the Lucha Ghoul is not going to play by those terms. He needs to earn his respect. Well, right now here in this match is going to be quite the treat for not only the fans watching at home, but all of East Los Luchas faithful. Ooh, but look at this. Wow. Some technical wrestling happening here. Yeah, that was know. a beautiful transition there. But if you notice, too, look at the Lucha Ghoul just taking control of that left arm. Trying to isolate Kodo Hero, but... Kodo again, look Ooh, at this. Kodo reversing that hammerlock, putting him in a headlock, and now taking him over. Nope, trying to go for a snapmare, but oh, Lucha he's Ghoul grabbing not going the mask. Oh. Again, showing disrespect to the Lucha Libre culture, and oh, look at that takedown. But there is nothing illegal about grabbing the mask. It's, it's, it's pulling it off. If, if you don't want the mask to be a hindrance, don't wear a mask. I mean, there's been plenty of times where Kodo Hira has faced off against some of the best in West Coast. Absolutely. And he has proven himself to all these people, but Sonico doesn't know. He needs to prove himself to Sonico in that ring right now. Oh, it's not about what he's done. Oh, but look at this. Speaking about Sonico, I mean, ooh, look at this. Oh, oh, wow. Popping up like a like the exorcist, kicking him right in the head. Oh, oh giant chop. Remember, fans, this is a Lucha Extreme match, which, again, anything goes. And look oh. at this. Oh. Kodo here with the great athleticism and agility shown right there, but ducks the clothesline, slides underneath. Oh! oh! Kick to the face right there. Oh. Whoa, what a cool combination there from Kodo Hero. Oh, and now kicking the hand up. It's the slyness of Kodo Hero. Oh! oh! Huge kick to the face right there. And again, I did mention, Enoch, that this is his second reign as the East Los Cruiserweight Champion. So I got to ask you, does this reign mean more than when he won it the first time? I think that he is doing it the way that these fans want him to do it. He's doing it the honorable way. The first time I was in this corner, we ran this entire company. He lost his way, and he found solace in these fans. And they might say that he's doing it the right way, but I say... He's a oh fool. My oh my god. god. Sonico, he was, was a gunshot. Gunshot, but I would think that would be a goal. A field goal that won in the Super Bowl. Only a one count right there, says Charlie oh, Wu. Oh my god. Sonico not holding back any punches here or any kicks per se. Absolutely. Oh, but. See, again, uh, as mentioned right now, this is an extreme, Lucha Extreme match, meaning that everything and anything goes. And again, I'm kind of afraid of what's underneath that ring. And, oh, that, that, that happens to be, fans, a, a pan-like maneuver, or excuse me, a pan object. Uh, it, it is quite the pan. And oh, there's oh. another chair now. Chair, a pan. What, what else is under that ring? Another chair. Another chair? Uh, I don't know where Sonico's thinking of when it comes to his strategies right here in this once again the lucha extreme match which again fans anything and everything is legal i mean heck nope. i'm even kind of a little bit afraid that some of these fans might bring weapons that he might use oh speaking about unique oh, weapons here's a door 
And, and, and if you look at uh, Koto Hiro's track oh. record, he did lose his championship the first time in a death match. That's so right. are these type of matches, the no disqualification matches, in his favor, or do they work against him? Well, I don't know. I mean, again, Sonico, not a stranger to these kind of matches before. And, but Whoa. look at this arm drag from the top rope. What a beautiful springboard arm drag by Koto Hiro. I mean, I got to give credit where it's due. He's definitely been putting in the work. Oh! Oh! A little bit of a hot shot maneuver right there. That, that was very unique. I'd never seen that before. Wait, Kodo's using that chair. And I know he's very athletic, very versatile when it comes to his offense. So this is unique right here. A little roll. Oh, oh my God! A trash can lid to the <laughs> skull. Cover. Oh Only my a God. one count. Kodo rolling into the ring looking to use that momentum to his advantage and instead he was met with a, a shot straight to the head. Now if you notice in the early stages of this matchup, Enoch, you see two very different styles were approached right here. Sonico on one hand, oh, is just Ooh. looking to put on the punishment to Kodo Hero, but Kodo Hero just trying to, you know, use his athleticism, use his agility in this match. So does that give Kodo Hero the disadvantage in this match? Yeah, it, ab absolutely, yeah. Koto Hiro is, is going into this match with a complete disadvantage. I mean, what can you say? Oh. Grabbing the Koto Hiro sign. This does not look good for whoever's the owner of that sign. Oh, oh come on, Sonico. Someone worked really hard yeah. on that, throwing it all the way to the balcony. Plain wow, disrespect. The, the ability of him to throw and hit the ceiling, that's Lucha Gold. Uh, oh! oh Koto Hero with a big kick to the chest. Again, Koto Hero. But again, just tearing that sign, just ruthless and playing out disrespectful, you knock. Oh! oh! Head first into that solid steel guard. Ugh, that pole area. Oh, what? He's grabbing a Modelo. Oh! oh! Smashing it right into the head of the Lucha Ghoul. Hopefully that beer didn't have a tab on it. I'm not sure if Koto knows, but drinks go in your mouth, not on your head, you know? That's true, but oh, huge European uppercut right there inside the crowd area. Fans, if you're in the way, we want to advise you, please move out the way. Yes, they, these, these wrestlers will land in your laps if you do not get out and move. Oh, wait. Oh, into the bar area right near the entrance here at Don Quixote. And fans, if you want to join us here at Don Quixote for East Los Lucha, make sure to never miss a notification that we have for our next event. Our next event being in a couple months, but again, you cannot miss this action. Be a part of this audience. Absolutely. The live atmosphere here is, is not to be missed. I mean, I know that my, my uh, commentary partner here is just oozing from the atmosphere. Oh, but speaking about atmosphere, look at Kodo and Again, Sonico at the balcony area. Oh my gosh. This does not look good at all. They went up the stairs and they're at some of the, the most dangerous points of this entire venue. Oh, oh my God. No, no. Oh, oh no, no. Don't do it, Sonico. Oh, thank God, okay. Oh my gosh, both men trying to throw each other over the, the railing. That railing's there to protect. Oh my God, oh my, oh my gosh. God. This will not end up good for either competitor, you know. No, not at all, I can't imagine this ending well either way. Both oh. men going splat. Oh my God. He's grabbing the mask again. Oh no, not like this, Sonico, come on. Ripping at Koto Hero's mask. You know, oh. it is no disqualification. It, it, anything that it takes, they will dig, They will do to get the job done. Oh, going right now behind men, us. Sorry, I'm a little flabbergasted. Both men fighting up above us. Where are they going? They're going near the bar area that's on the other side of the balcony. Huge again, once again, huge shout out to our camera crew. But again, fans, if you're in the way, get out of the way. Oh my God. This does not look good for Koto. Oh no, my God. No, no. 
trying to throw Kono over the top rope to the floor. Top rope over the balcony. What am I even saying? I'm. The action is completely flabbergasted me here. I'm at a mince of words. I mean, these two are at some of the dangerous points of Don Quixote. Again, that has to be over 10 feet in the air, and the result is not in anybody's favor right here, but again, huge thank you to our crew up there, our camera crew that's capturing all the action for the fans at home, as we're doing our best to capture everything. Oh, huge stud. Oh, man. Into those nice siege cushions up there. I mean, you know, and hopefully, hopefully they're, they're not ruining, whoa. Kono Hero now getting the crowd behind him. I mean, if he's looking to dive off of that balcony, I don't think it's going to go in his favor. It's not going to go in anybody's favor, neither for Sonico, neither for Koto Hero. Huge damage to the, the abdominal region if he goes for a cross body off there. Oh, but wait a minute. Koto at the oh. side. Oh, down the stairs now. Again, those stairs are not safe at all. Not at all. And referee checking in on both competitors, finally at a safe distance down. At least they're both at a, at, at a very respectable height here. Oh my God! Koto Hero just over that guardrail there. And again, Enoch, this is Lucha Extreme Rules, meaning that anything and everything can go. They can pull out and pretty much go anywhere, whether it's inside the building or even outside in the parking lot. Absolutely. There are no rules here. Right. Wexler, what, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, uh, but what's going to oh, happen is go. that... Yeah, he's inside the ring. Okay, well, now they're back inside the ring. Order has been restored. All is good with the world. And, and now Sonico can destroy Koto Hero. Oh, but wait a minute. He has the kendo stick. That is Kodo's favorite weapon. Oh! Onto the flesh of the back. And again, this is an interesting situation, Enoch. I mean, we have... Oh, oh. Sonico using that bamboo stick, that, that kendo stick. And that's usually Kodo Hero's secret weapon. It is. I mean, always coming to the ring with his weapon. And now it's being used against him. I mean... I mean, it's irony. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -huh. I don't know, but look here, this crowd not going for Sonico at all. Oh, oh as he looks to yes. cement himself in, in East Los Lucha. Uh, and again, once again, going after that mask. Oh! A bit of a camel clutch maneuver on, with the kendo stick. And, and Kodo Hero has a never say die attitude. He never gives up. But how do you defeat someone who is already dead? That is a question. That's the million dollar question right there. That is something that. Not a lot of people know, but Charlie Wu, one of the Ooh. best referees in SoCal on the West Coast, checking on Kodo. That's two. Choking him out with that. Oh, oh. With Camel Clutch using that kendo stick. With Kodo Hero fighting back, showing the life. Oh! oh. oh. Huge jawbreaker right there. And there oh. we go. Using that kendo stick. A secret now right weapon. to the back. Oh, what is this right here, Yanok? Uh, I don't know. Nothing good right here. Not, not for the Lucha goal. Spinning oh! around. Shot right to the freaking forehead. Skull meets bamboo stick. Nothing good there. And Kodo Hero. Oh! oh! Flying clothesline and a beautiful drop kick. Kodo Hero on the run. Listen to these fans. Oh my goodness. The offense heavy for Kodo oh, here. Here we go for that springboard. Here it goes. Springboard flying elbow. Kodo Hero has greatly improved over the last few years, and he's showing it right here. And wait a minute, what is this? Oh, face buster. Beautiful springboard cover. Two. Uh, oh, thank God. Look, I'm going for Sonico here. Let, let's be honest. Now he's... Oh! Kodo kicking the head off of Sonico. I want to go back to a point that you made just right now. You're going for Sonico. Is there a good reason why you're doing that? Of course. Look, Kodo Hero, he did things the right way the first time. He was a champion with me in his corner. Now he sold his morals. He sold himself. He sold to the devil for all of these people. I mean, 
I, I wouldn't agree with that, but Whoa. look at this. Oh! Santon, Swanton Bomb, excuse me, onto the ringside area. Holy moly! Wow, that double springboard Santon to the outside, or Swanton. Again, using his agility to defend properly his cruiserweight championship. And as much as I respect both competitors, you know the number one person looking at this match closely is the new, oh, number one contender in Damian Drake. Absolutely. Seeing what whether it's going to be easier to pick up the scraps that Kodo Hero will be left if he wins or if he will be taken on the Lucha oh. Bowl. And here's a cover by Kodo Hero. Oh, covering the goal, one, two, oh. Kodo Hero almost with the victory there after that chair shot to the head. Just throwing that chair in his face. And again, I have to say it again, Kodo Hero, no stranger to these extreme matches. Has gone through hell and back. Has had that mask ripped out of his face at some points of time. Blood was spread in that ring. But throughout that, Enoch, Kodo is still here. Kodo was able to get that championship that he so long loved in that Cruiserweight Championship. Look, okay, fine. Kodo Hero has picked up the pieces of his life. Last time when he lost the championship, he went insane and attacked everybody, including myself, which is why I don't like him. But he was able to put the pieces back together, climb back up that mountain, break the mountain, and become the champion once more. Well, this mountain that Kodo has in front of him in Again, Sonico, I mean, it's a tough one to climb, let alone break. And we're seeing it right now, but Sonico kind of messing with the crowd here, taking, pushing people too. Whoa. Drinking some Modellos too, and look at this disrespect. Oh, oh my God. And you're applauding <laughs> the fact that that beer was put in the head of Kodo Hero. Because I'm pretty sure that Kodo Hero did it like five minutes ago. But when it's the other way around, you're okay with it. You're a hypocrite, Wexler. But pushing a fan is one thing. Pushing a fan if they get in your face? You do not touch the wrestlers. You stay out of their way. You should know that better than anybody else. Oh, oh but only a two count dang. right there. We almost had a new champion there. Sonico was so close to yet adding another accolade to his already stacked list, but Listen to these fans pumping up Kodo Hero. And Sonico right now, somehow not going for the pin or trying to go on to the attack, but putting Kodo Hero into a half Nelson maneuver, or now to the full Nelson. Oh, oh my oh God. Oh my God, might be going for a, a dragon suplex. No, no, oh. Kodo Hero with the arm drag. Oh, he was big flying knee. Oh, but look at this, springboard. Oh! Here's a cover. One, two, oh! What a beautiful face, burst. face buster. Kodo going oh. for that move off the ropes. Now a big knee shot to the, to the jaw now. Oh. Dragon suplex. One, one, two. Oh, oh, man. So close. Did you see the bridge? Did you see him standing on his tippy toes? That extension was gorgeous. If it wasn't for the inept ref, Charlie Wu is the greatest of the West Coast as well. And he's calling it right down the middle, but maybe it was that clear half second that gave Kodo Hero that extra little time to regroup and regain himself from this destruction right now. But Sonico now setting up that chair. What's he going for? Oh, and it's using that door. Oh, come on. The crowd now showing their love for the Lucha Ghoul, saying how great he is. I wouldn't say love, I would say more <laughs> maybe disagreement. That would be the proper terminology. But look at this. We all have our opinions, let's be honest. Oh, whoa, he's setting up that chair. Okay. He's setting up. He's setting up the door on the chair. I wonder what he's going for here. And listen, fans, doors are not fun to go through. Doors, unlike tables, are harder, and they have more wooden splinters that go into your back as well. Absolutely. Now, wait a minute. Grabbing Kodo by the mask. Again, going after that oh. mask. Every title. Oh, my God! As I spoke... 
Kota Hero gained the upper advantage and double stomp through oh, the door. Oh, that was gorgeous. Double stomp through the door. Now Kota Hero getting back to his feet. He says that's over. And will Kota break this mountain? He will. Ray Buster onto the chair. Oh Cover. my God. One, One two, two, three. three. Yeah. No hero retains the Cruiserweight Championship. Enoch, you may have disagreements with that warrior, but tonight he proved to be that warrior defending the East Los Lucha Cruiserweight Championship in spectacular fashion. You're right, what, what can I say? Lucha Ghoul, he brought his A game, he came prepared, and Kono Hero still was able to pick up the victory. I, damn. No discredit to the Lucha Ghoul Sonico. He put it all on the line here tonight. He went through a door, he went through chairs, he went through a trash can lid, all to fulfill that destiny, and sadly, that destiny was just a little short tonight. But all credit to his ability. All credit to both of these athletes. Pointing it once again all on the line, and wait a minute. Kodo Hero still in the ring. Sonico regaining himself here, and look at this, the champion offering a handshake Trying right there. Trying to shake hands. I mean, this could come back and bite him, right? I mean, how are you gonna try to, sh yeah, oh, see? Oh, come on, Sonico. Yeah, that's what you get. Blatant disrespect by Sonico. But there is no doubt in my mind, and at the fans at home as well, he put on a great performance. He was so close to gaining that Cruiserweight Championship. But the man inside the ring, the man that holds that championship and that kendo stick is Kodo Hero. And Enoch, he has a date with Damian Drake for that Cruiserweight Championship at our next event. Absolutely. Damian Drake is focused. Damian Drake is ready. He beat the man who beat Kodo Hero. That is true. And Kodo Hero going into that next title defense has to train extra hard, has to go to the biggest of mountains, even bigger than Mount Everest, all to prepare for his next Cruiserweight Championship defense here at East Los Lucha. And we as commentators and they as fans cannot wait until that next title defense happens. Pinky Santino said, this is your main event of Lucha Extreme. And Enoch, you are about to witness probably one of the biggest main events in this company's history. Let's take it back to the Lucha Block Party, our last show. This man right here walked into that event as East Los Lucha Heavyweight Champion. Doble Cara is the man that this crowd knows, this crowd loves. But unfortunately, he lost the East Los Lucha Heavyweight title to former East Los Lucha Heavyweight Champion, Vito Fratelli. The first ever. First ever. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Vito. Vito. Right. And, and now the title is back where it belongs. Oh, but Vito. Oh. Blindsiding Doble. As Pinky Santino said, falls count anywhere. Main event of Lucha Extreme. Vito Fratelli blindsiding Doble Cara. How can you commend this? Vito Fratelli is a man that will do anything that it takes. I've, I've sat in the corner and watched this man work so many times in my career, and there's no one else that encompasses the ability, the power, the, the agility of Vito Fratelli. I mean, Vito Fratelli, yes, he is the first ever heavyweight champion for East Los Lucha. Yes, he has so much history within this company. 
but you cannot commend his his attitude to, since being East Los Lucha Heavyweight Champion. I mean, Dolph Cara, yes, he did lose the title, but he's a champion at heart. He is the man that rides this company's pride proud. No, he's the man that rides on the coattails of the company, hoping that it will take him to the top. Vito Fratelli has broken his back for 13 years, and he is once again your champion, and he will not be losing that championship tonight, not to double the head caught Well, here comes Vito Fratelli right in front of his fans. And look at Vito mocking the crowd, and I don't know if you can see fans, but oh, oh huge knife edge shot, oh, right to the chest of Doble Cara. Yeah, I don't know if you can see fans, but Doble Cara busted open here in the early stages of this Falls Count Anywhere heavyweight championship bout. And look at this, Vito Fratelli, the Sicilian powerhouse, just mocking, just taunting. The East Los Lucha faithful. Just reveling in the disdain that this crowd has for him for beating up their little poster child, this double Ekata, the man with two, child. The man with two faces. How could you say that? How could you say this man has two faces? I mean, yes, in terms of like, yes, facial features, maybe, but the man has pride. The man has the East Los Lucha faithful behind him. That, that's fair, but what makes a good man does not mean that, that it's based upon what the crowd thinks of this man. Vito Fratelli is the man. He is a fighting champion. And anything you have to say, he's not breaking any rules. Oh! I mean, as much as you're right about that, Vito Fratelli... with that solid steel chair, my goodness. What a, what a shot with that steel chair. Oh man, and here comes Vito Fratelli once again with that chair. Oh, oh, another vicious chair shot. Oh my God. Vito Fratelli, again, playing to the crowd right now. And if Vito Fratelli could somehow get through this match, I mean, yes, it would be great on his resume, taking out a former heavyweight champion, but again, there's some stuff that I would not agree with him. But look, here are these fans. Doble still fighting, but oh, oh my, my gosh! God. What a disgusting chair shot, and Doble not even trying to protect himself. He's completely beaten and battered from the moment that he walked out that curtain. Vito has his number. I mean, you have a point, but you cannot count out Doble's heart, his power, and his athleticism in the ring. But when it comes to Lucha Extreme matches, I mean, Vito's oh, one another of the very chair best. shot. Oh, oh my God, oh. dude! Steel to skull, chair to head, and right now Vito Patelli. playing to the crowd once again. Now you can't say that he's a good man. He's donating to charity. What charity? The Chair to the Head Foundation. Founded by Vito Fratelli, 2024 East Los Lucha. Yeah, I see that, Vito. And I applaud that, Vito. I, I, I don't know why you applaud it. I, I honestly don't. Because like, it's not illegal. He is whooping that man's ass. I mean, but when Doble does it, you don't cheer for that. Like, how does that work? He hasn't even, he hasn't done anything. He's got in his butt whooped this entire, oh, oh my, my god. god. Doble Cara. Vito Fratelli is, is, is just, he has nothing that he needs to prove and yet he's here fighting, showing the real heart of a champion. Oh my god. Once again, Vito Fratelli on the offensive drive here, but Again, falls count anywhere, Enoch. I mean, this match could end anywhere, not just inside the ring. It could be at ringside. It could be up at the balconies, which is all show that wrestlers have used. But look at, look at this. Vito captivating. Oh, just rubbing the blood on his chest. What? 
what a beast what a barbarian he is reveling in it then the disdain of the crowd and the suffering oh. of his opponent I don't know if barbarian would be the proper word I would use in this situation. I think I would go with more of a savage. That's what he's acting like right now. Just rubbing the blood of Doblekara on his chest. But listen to these fans. Doblekara throughout the punishment is still on his, on his knees oh but still gosh. fighting. I have to give credit where credit's due. Double A could just stay down and yet he's getting up every single time. Now Vito picking him up, putting him on that top rope. Oh no. This does not look good. And look at this. Oh, just ripping at the face. Oh, come on. Just oh, opening up gosh. that wound. Oh, oh, my God. At this point, I don't feel like Vito is in the mindset of winning this match. I think it's just destroying Doble Car, just punishing him even more. As much as he can, Vito Fratelli is a big star, and he's coming here and he's saying, if you're gonna be in my world, you're gonna have to play by my rules. About to the corner. Oh, but Doble Car with the European uppercut. Oh, oh! oh. Forearm in and oh into Gary. Oh my gosh. And a roll up, no, pushing him all the way to his feet. Oh, oh. knee to the face, and here comes Doble Car. Beautiful athleticism to the top rope. This does not look good for Vito. Mama what Vito. a beautiful crossbody. I mean, what can I say? That was a fantastic crossbody there by Doble. And what is this right here? Now picking up that steel chair. Vito barely crawling back to his feet. in the back with the chair as hard as he possibly could. I mean, this may be a new strategy. Oh, to the head. And off the ropes, no, 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 oh! Chair to skull, boot to face, or maybe boot to chair to face. Whatever the case may be, Doble Cara getting back in this match. And now going to the ringside area, Enoch. I mean, I don't know personally if this is the smart strategy for Doble, oh, but it's working out for him thus far. Absolutely, I, and Doble is going to cheat and use a chair to his advantage, a two-on-one fight, him and the chair. Oh! And Doble Carr is still on the attack here. And again, with blood in his eyes, he still sees red, and that's being towards, oh, oh Vito Fratelli. And again, fans, if you're near the area, please move. I mean, you don't want to get in the middle of this craziness for sure. And listen to these fans. Doble Cara. Oh, taking off the shirt of Vito Fratelli. Oh! Huge overhand chop. Oh. And the fans ask you for one more and they got it. Ask and you shall receive. Oh no. Ah! Huge overhand shot right there. Oh, it's in those steel steps. Oof. This does not look good for Vito. What's he going for right here, Enoch? I don't know. It might be. Might be looking to end it right here with the crowd behind him. He's picking up that chair. No, 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 no. no, no going no. for another chair. Oh! God. That's a, such a disgusting chair shot to the head. Vito Fratelli unable to protect himself, just taking the chair shot right to the skull. The fans here at East Los Lucha loving this. And here comes another door. And fans, what I mean by that is that the previous match there was a door used and in the main event of East Los Lucha, Lucha Extreme, we're seeing oh, what it means man. to be extreme, but is that a flat screen TV? Oh my gosh. A flat screen TV. Oh, taking a fan's phone right here. I mean, talk about a POV, but wait, that's not a phone. Oh my God, that is not a phone at all. That sharpness to what? the head of Vito Fratelli. What is that? That's just it's a legal weapon. 
Fans, that seemed to be a sharp object, but I cannot identify it at this time. Definitely had spikes in it for sure. Oh, oh, kick. oh no. No! No! Vito, no, go, no, no, go no, no, shoot no. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch out for the flash. Oh! oh. I would make a TV joke. I wouldn't probably make like an HD pun, but that is pure class to the body. Oh my gosh. Vito being sent back first through that flat screen TV. Vito may be in trouble here. That championship reign is in jeopardy. I mean, fans, this talk, talk about HD. They're, they're showing their admiration. They're showing their, their love and respect for these two men, chanting, this is awesome. And here comes, <laughs> the, here comes Kata, doble Kata. And I want to point out, before he just took Vito to the ringside area, he rubbed his own blood onto that door. So he's marking his territory head on. Oh, against Vito Fratelli. And wait a second. Vito Fratelli and Doblin right in front of us. Don't get near us, please. Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I, hey. I would appreciate it if you don't get near. Maybe go towards Enoch Moore. No, go towards him. And back Whoa. and forth. Oh, no, not in front of Both our... Both fighting back and forth right here, right in front of our table. Oh! This is very expensive equipment, gentlemen. But chops back and forth. Both men crimson blood all over their faces. Oh, oh my God! Both men A taking out... A clothesline on the stage right here, right in front of us. Both men putting their bodies on the line. Showing how important the East Los Lucha Heavyweight Championship is. That title is prestigious, not only in East Los Lucha, but in all of Southern California. That title has held by so many greats. Vito Fratelli, and as much as I disagree with his actions, is the first ever. So he has laid the foundation since then. He did. He laid the foundation, and now he's back at the top of the mountain. Oh. Oh. Vito Double a, oh, big punches, a big chop. Now big forearm. Oh, firing. Oh, yeah. oh ducks the clothesline. Oh, oh super, super kick. kick. Taking Vito Fratelli potentially back to the ringside area, and it does. Doble Cara, this does not look good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Doble Cara off, off the stage with the beautiful cross body. Jeez, you got to give credit where credit is due. One, two. Oh my God, we were so close for Doble Cara once again becoming an East Los Lucha heavyweight champion, meaning that three times he had held that title. He was so close to number three. But again, two East Los Lucha heavyweight champions going at it, and both of them giving it 110%. Blood being spilled in the ring and heart and passion oh. going through it. And oh! oh, big. Drop kick right to the jaw. But wait, he's not oh, going for the cover. He's going to the top. This could be it. What does this mean, Enoch? Oh, double leg oh. going for that frog splash. Oh, almost a three count off the top of that frog splash. Both men leaving everything that they got in this ring. Now listen, Enoch, I, got, I have to go back and ask you. What does Doble have to do to take out the relatively bigger man in Vito Fratelli, and maybe even on the side of Vito? What does he have to do to take out the, in terms of height, the bigger man? Well, Vito Fratelli is, is the more experienced man. Vito Fratelli is a former champion, just like Doble, and I think that Vito Fratelli just needs to ground him, needs to stop letting him get up on the top rope and getting these crowd behind him. That's what's giving him the power. Well, whether it's power or whether it's just fate, right now, thumbtacks oh. are in the oh, ring. No. And then does that look good? Oh! oh. Wait a minute. No. I, no. Oh my God, might be going for a big superplex. Vito, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! Oh! oh! Superplex onto the thumbtacks! Oh my gosh! Both men right into the thumbtacks. One, One two. two. Oh! Oh! But oh. look at that transition! Oh, he kicked out and right into a crossface! 
Look at that cross face applied. Vito could tap right here, or maybe even pass out. No, 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 Vito, don't tap out. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, onto oh. those thumbtacks again. Oh man, Vito. Oh, almost ran into referee Steve there. Oh, wait, wait, no! What the hell? Oh my what God. the hell? How can you commend this? Oh my God, what? It's not illegal. He got in his way. Steve now got the the, the consequences of counting too minute. slow. Referee RJ answering the fray now. And fans, if you remember, RJ was the referee when Vito won back the title. Oh. <gasps> Only a two count right RJ there. RJ out here fast counting. That's my kind of referee. I'm That's sorry, your I, kind of referee. I got on him earlier, and I apologize. It is through actions like him that we have champions like Vito. It was that fast count that got Vito back the title. But look at the straight, the double. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Huge adjustment onto the... One, two, wait a minute. What? Oh my God. Are you serious? RJ flipping him off. What is this? A slow count followed by a mid count stoppage. And Dobla is not having it at all. Uh, referee right after my own heart. He said one, two, F you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't hit him, he is just an official. Please, I don't mean, put your hands on the referee. No. Don't let carpet. Wait a minute. What the uh, hell is, that? is this? There's some masked men at attacking, attacking Doble. Two masked men, luchadors. I don't know what, who are these two people? Helping Vito Fratelli. And wait a second. Going towards the powerbomb position. Oh my God. No. No. Triple powerbomb through oh the door. Oh my God. Triple powerbomb through the door. That's it. They got to pull him out and make the cover. Come on, Vito. Vito retains like his this. championship. That's no. it. That's Not it. like this. RJ, no. One, no. Two, no. Three. Yes. Yes. Vito Fratelli Are you is serious? still your Fratelli is still your champion. As much as I could agree saying there was no rules, quote unquote, quote, wait a second. Felix, Oscar Felix and Inferno aligning themselves oh my gosh. with the heavyweight champion. Oh, wait a second. Wait a oh damn my God. minute. Hoss, Hoss Hog. Ladies and gentlemen, Haas Hawk was the man who initially ended Vito Fratelli's first championship reign. And look who's in the ring with Inferno and Felix. Look at this. Oh, oh my God. Haas Hawk taking out the trash. Oh my God. Haas Hawk clearing the ring like nothing.
Well, that does it for us here at Lucha Extreme for Eve. So it's Lucha. Enoch, how do you feel about what just happened? I, I, I'm, I'm just glad that Vito Fratelli has the championship still, and that title is around his waist where it belongs. Hoss Hog came out, stuck his nose in business where it doesn't belong, but I guess that's how you get things done here. Well, fans, we cannot wait for the next event. Lucha Hangover May 19th. Make sure to join us right here at the Don Quixote where we will see Big Dick Hoss taking on Vito Fratelli for that heavyweight championship. Fans, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't don't miss another chance at an East Los Lucha event. And don't forget, you get to see Kodo Hero lose his championship to Damian Drake. That is going to be fantastic. And not only that, but more matches to be announced on Absolutely. our social media too. So make sure to follow that as well.